Okay, let us return to it. I could not resist the siren call of Factoria tonight. We are back. It's our death world 100%. All of the difficult things are already done, really. It's just grinding at the end, so there's not really any excitement to be had. But I do want some finality to this, so I'm absolutely going to get all the achievements. I'm not going to wimp out just because some of the last ones are uh, not difficult to do, but they take a painfully long time to do. I've already got You're Doing It Right and Mass Production 2 on the cards, but eventually this will be replaced with Mass Production 3. And what else is there, if anything, worth tracking at the moment? Hmm... Delivery service will just come and go in its own time. Golem ain't worth knowing. Sadly, Solaris doesn't track the amount of power that you produce, so I don't, have, I don't know a good way to check on that personally. We will probably do Pyromaniac soon, potentially even today. But what we need to do currently is an expansion. We, as you can tell, are horrifically low on certain key resources. I am almost completely out of stone, and stone is a vital ingredient to doing purple science, which we have notably not automated. It is the only science, aside from glorious space science, that we have not automated. And I'm not even sure we'll do much uh, white science automation. It's possible. I mean, it wouldn't be difficult either now, would it? It just needs a whole lot of uh, light oil, the rocket control units, and we already make LDS, so yeah, I think that'd be kind of easy. But I'm not thinking about expanding any more automation operations until we solve our resource deficit. That is about half a yellow belt of copper coming in. I do have buffers, but I don't want to eat those just to sustain a dying production here. And even our iron and steel, although these look like pretty healthy belts, really, uh, there are cracks showing. I want to expand operations so that I have three red belts of iron if I can, two red belts of copper, and uh, whatever else sloshed into steel, which means we're going to have expansion on smelting. Uh, well, yeah, all this talk is cheap. Let's actually get to work. One thing I need to do is link this back up. There are a couple of... Uh, oil things that are not operational, and I need them to be operational, otherwise the north will not hold indefinitely. So I just need to link this radar back into the main system. Can't you use the power view to check? The power view, you mean this one right here. So it cares about the past hour, and it cares about you producing 10, or, or actually, I'm not sure if it's producing or consuming or what, but 10 gigajoules. Maybe the problem is that I've had steam engines running in, let's see, about 26 minutes ago, maybe in half an hour when all of this is gone, it will say, oh, okay, you've done all this with only solar panels. Because the, the achievement is quite explicit. Only solar panels, 10 gigajoules per hour. I don't know if you do 100 gigajoules in 10 minutes, it'll count that, but uh, God knows. Anyway, that'll take care of itself, I'm sure, and if it doesn't, well, we'll just continue to expand our solar array and surely we will eventually get it. For now, though, our expansion here. Now, there's a lot of lovely forest here, and whilst there is an achievement to burn down a whole lot of forest, now is not the time for that. Now is the time for setting up a proper defense. Uh, I've got my miners, I've got my efficiency modules for the miners. Our miners will always be efficiency moduled. Production modules are wasted on miners, and speed modules can be good, but I think efficiency is better, especially at this point. Plenty of wall, plenty of laser turrets. Uh, the pole collection is questionable. I'm going to grab a few more poles. And if there are any more... how am I doing on uh, belt-related things? Splitters, undergrounds... Oh, I'm going to want a lot of undergrounds, actually. Which is something that I have not automated. I know, I know. I'm constantly just thinking about more things that I need. Uh, okay, you have no more of these. In that case... In that case... Give me a bunch of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... I would have taken eight if I had space for eight. Um, I'm about to need a lot of undergrounds, I'm fairly certain about that. So you guys just take all of these. And I shall take big old stacks of iron and get them made lickety spit. And I think the ratio is skewed in favour of iron consumption for making these. Yeah, pretty much two to one, so I can give them another 
fat stack of iron each. And that should make me a healthy number of more underground belts. The base is crying for a mall, yes, and it will get a mall once it's mall is actually gonna be one of the biggest uh, priorities once I'm back from this expansion. That's better. I'm gonna need a lot of these for my plan. For my glorious plan. Now let's try not to break anything as we drive along here. The tank is obscenely powerful, destroys a lot of things that it just looks at. Hello, hello. Get out of my way. Why do I still have all of these here set up? I'm looking forward to getting rid of these jerry-rigged operations. Right, here's another mistake. Mistakes certainly like to crop up around here. Lucky you, you're actually going to get one of my big old poles. And I have no space for more of you. Well, ain't that a kicker? Probably because I've got one of these just lying around. Uh, is there anything that I can actually dispose of right now? What do I not really need? I kind of want it all. I suppose I don't need these bullets anymore. Those electric engines don't do anything for me. Hmm. There are a bunch of manual things that I want to do inside the base currently, but it's it would be wasted on me. We need to get this expansion done, and we need to get this expansion done now-ish. So let's go. Got to make sure that I'm equipped with my... Ooh, you know what? The personal robot ports actually feel befitting to be using right now. Hmm. Am I really going to make it with just a few personal laser defenses? Ah, I know, since I'm driving, I can do this. I can... I can, I can, I can take off my trousers, my outer trousers, and put on the personal lasers. There we go. Nine personal lasers. It's not a lot, all things considered, but it should be enough to safely get me to my destination without risk of being utterly but blasted by the biters. The biters who are currently enjoying being on fire out there. That's a funny joke. I'm pretty sure they're not enjoying the situation one bit. Whoa, boy, this tank does not stop on a dime. And I'm pretty sure the braking force technology only applies to the trains. It does not help me with other vehicles. Although, if you want to come to a full and complete stop quickly, run into a cliff. For some bizarre reason, cliffs do not do any damage to vehicles. We already eradicated a whole lot of biters around here, and there might be a little bit more eradication going. Seems like a weekly one-shot victory. Was it even close, and was there cheating? What? Was there cheating? What drives a man to ask such a question? Of course there was no cheating, and it was glorious victory for me. All right, all right. Tank, you just wait there for a bit. As for me, I need to start thinking about the wall here. Doesn't seem like there's any biters getting in our way. Uh, however, I've gone and done myself a little bit of a problem, haven't I? Yeah, I haven't brought power over here. And power should be a top priority. Perhaps I came over here a little too soon. Yes, yes I did. Okay, that's fine though. We're not in any particular rush anymore. We don't have Lazy Bastard or Gotlap or there is no spoon to worry about in the slightest. However, I need to work with this. I reckon what we're going to be doing is mining all of this, bringing it up here on many, many transport belts. I'm thinking... 4 plus 4 plus 2 transport belts. So that means 10 along here. Can we even get 10 along there? I don't know. Hopefully we have enough landfill for it. I'm going to turn off my bots so they don't automatically do this for me. And then let's see if we can do some calculations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay... One, two, three, four. Does that even work? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. If I copy that. And that is twenty as it should be. One, two, three, four. Donk. Really safer to copy it like that. OK. 
can we do something like this? So what I want is to not, well, I wouldn't actually mind land bridging this all together. It's no skin off my nose. But my glorious plan... Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, tonk. And I think we still need another one there. My glorious plan is to bring ten loads of underground belts across here. Underground belts can go through water. That is 269 of my not 269 landfill. Hmm. Hmm. Could I bring this up a bit? Or could I make a whole bunch more land? Oh god, you get away! Actually, no, we can watch this. A rare opportunity to watch little expansion bugs at work. They're sniffing around at this ground. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, they already did their expansion right here. All right, come on. You're not allowed to settle here. Get out of what is clearly my land. I know, I know. It seems dreadfully unfair, doesn't it? I just look at you and you die. But that is my technological prowess at work. When do you switch to tra <laughs> me? Use trains? You are off your rocker, right? Using trains. I am not in the pocket of the train lobby. One thing that's a bit saddening is that those uh, biter nests don't grow up to be big and strong. Would be kind of cool if they did. But would I save myself some belts if I moved this? Uh, not belts, landfill. The problem is I'm duh, horribly short on stone right now. What if I put you there? Would that work? Kinda hard to tell. Still something 61. Alright, um, hmm, this could be a problem. I need a touch more stone than I'm able to make right now. Alright, you know what, never mind the stone, let's get the power up first. Because there's nothing saying that I have to do all of these at once. Now, I need the power here, so, 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 what I think I can do is maybe move this down a bit, since it's, since it's costing me anyway. Oh god, what was the setup now? I've managed to forget. I think it was something like... Huh, now I have no idea what I built here. Go figure. And it's getting dark, so I can't see. What did I do? I think it was that. I think it was that, or thereabouts. Anyway, I need to get the power over here. So if we have this here, how far over can you get? Can you get there? Not only can you get there, you can get pretty far over there. I'm looking for the cable to make sure that it attaches. So there we go. And if my bots get to work, they're going to fill in a lot of landfill, and that's okay, I can grab landfill, I'm sure. Is there any gameplay mechanics related to the night and day cycle as part from visibility? Yeah, your solar panels will not work at night time. That includes the ones on your body and the ones on, well, out in the field. This big solar panel field that I have right here is producing, well, it's increasing now because daylight is coming. Night time is very short on this planet. Hmm. This remains to be a bit of a concern. I need slightly more, uh, slightly more stone. What I could do, actually, whilst I'm being delightfully devilish, is get this to grab every rock there is, and then see if I can't just grab some rocks here to get the last of my landfill. Although I should be careful not to drive over too much of this forest. In fact, why am I even driving my... Why am I even driving my big old tank? Where are those... Rocks? I need them now. Well, I want them now. There we go. Out they go to grab me some. 
Yeah, they're bringing me back coal as well, but that's a little concern to me. Troubling thing is that I need a bit more landfill, and I'm just so horrifically short on stone. Hey, you know, there were other stones along the way. I could go and grab those. And now that I can actually create my own landfill, that's A-OK. -okay. These stones, grab me those stones. Oh, and the fish, why not? Those are stones as well. You don't have to spend any time hacking apart those stones when you have bots. The bots will just go and grab all 20 stones, despite not having the capacity for it. They will grab them all. However, when it comes to the coal rocks, for whatever reason, they can't hold multiple different items in such high quantities, so they have to go back for the, um, for the coal. Not that I want or need this coal, but... Like I said, we're in a massive stone shortage right now, and clearly I need extra landfill. The bots are so cute, but they're also still quite slow at this point. Oh no, full inventory. How can this be? There we go, get that out of here. I don't want to build up anything until I have my power over here for defense. It's quite important. And I want to bring my power over in such a way that it's not uh, liable to be destroyed by the, the biters. So I don't want to do it out here. They could expand right onto it if they were devilish enough to do so. I know, I know, it's not fast and bombastic expansion. I didn't promise as much, but I still feel like I'm betraying. Right, come on now. Oh, hello. Excellent source for stones around here. This feels so weird, feels so early game to be caring about this. Tell you what, I can just shove those over there. And you will also go and build the rest of this landfill for me. Meanwhile... Oh, come on, you gotta just barely fit there. Yay, there we go. That is how we get power over there. I don't have the stones to fully landfill this, so I have to make do with what I have here. And this was a mistake. This shouldn't be landfilled in at all. But it is. How queer. Right. Oh well, we can all look forward to the latest update where landfill will be mineable. Normally I use a mod for that, but as I'm sure you can tell, this is running completely modless. Right, how quickly can I plug you into my overall network? The answer is quite soon. And because I am a right penny pinch, I will use my plentiful small wooden poles for that. I used to work with a Polish guy, but he was not small and he was not made of wood. He was a giant. And he had a heart of gold. Well, I think he did. He was certainly a very nice guy. There we go. That should be all the stuff we need to actually properly do our expansion now. Less faffing around. Congrats, Jake, for the achievement. You inspired me to attempt the same. Probably wouldn't have uh, time anyway, but is Factorio still a mod challenge? No, Factorio stopped being a mod challenge when Alpha Gamo utterly destroyed it. Okay, alright. I need you multiplied by a lot. Uh, okay, that I don't need. There we go, go. So we copy and paste you over here a lot of times. Ooh, right, that's in the way. That is a potential problem. But I have a little bit of extra landfill to fix said problem, so it should be okay. Uh, this isn't necessary, that isn't necessary. And judging how I play my cards here, some of this isn't necessary either. There we go. I'm trying to save myself some undergrounds since they are devilishly expensive. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four copper, four iron, two stone. Now let's grab our vehicle and head back out there and sort set up a proper expansion. 
You can't just mine stone for landfill, huh? I was wondering why you go after that surface rock. Uh, because my current amount of stone is... Well, it's 13,000. But it's being produced in such low quantity. Also, I thought I had enough landfill. I underestimated my need for landfill. Happens plenty. Underestimating your needs is a core part of Factorio, after all. I was wondering why stuff's felt so odd. I'm moving really slowly because I don't have my uh, exoskeletons on me. I also try not to bother the biters. Good. Big biter is just big and chunky enough to largely laugh off my personal defense lasers. And yeah, we can still call our extremely aggressive laser setup defense lasers. Oh, I am really looking forward to this. This kind of expansion that I can do without burning down or bastardizing the forest. Uh, no, I still want to drive you a little bit. Oh. Did I bring enough undergrounds? Yeah, I might have been overkill in the undergrounds, but that's a-okay. I'll just drive over these buggy corpses. Now, you. We'll finish off building these, and I'll see if I can migrate you over here. The answer is yes, but no, but yes. There we go. Maintaining the power over here. Another mod that I quite like to use is, oh god, don't tell me I can't reach there. Come on, come on, reach that. <laughs> I'm a square off of reaching that. Okay, well, that, that's fine. It's fine. I just need to landfill over ever so slightly. Now we've got all of that built. Great. Huh. This also needs landfill. Who would have thought? Good thing we have all this landfill. We're not made of this stuff. There. That. That is about as far as I'm willing to landfill here. Get rid of that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There we go. And I'm grateful that you've got all these belts that I will need. I shouldn't build anything manually if I can afford it right now. After all, I have an achievement that I'm going for. You are doing it right. Where we have the bots build more things than we build. It's there to teach you important lessons about playing Factorio. Building things by hand is just a stopgap measure for until you're able to have all your bots do it for you. So, we got the power. I have the power. What are we going to do with this power? We're going to set up glorious defense. I want to bring this power out to the borders of this expansion. And I need to figure out where that border lies. I enjoy using this tank because it's very seldom that I ever use a tank in this game. After all, why would you use a tank? When Spider-Tron exists. It's because Spider-Tron is expensive. Okay, bots, don't you do anything while I plan out a wall here. So I don't anticipate many attacks here. These will be efficiency modules, so the pollution won't spread that far. And I also plan on killing a lot of these guys. But we need to be prepared for something. I honestly think a single wall will suffice here. So I'm not going to double wall this. Although I might regret that option. Hmm. Mm hmm. I think it's that a little bit further than it needs to be. Oh, the run's going fine. There, honestly, there is no excitement left to be had. Truly, truly. I don't... Oh, God, did I build those? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do like the way the uh, the bots throw that, uh, throw that down. Just kaboom. Okay, well, there's a nice starter bit of wall. Uh, I don't have many cliff explosives for this, but how are we actually going to design this? I won't need a lot of laser turreting. Not at all. I throw one down. I think what I will do is I'll measure this by the power cable. So how about we have a power cable with you on each corner of it, and the power cable makes a continuous line. Now, the power cables are not going to draw aggro. If the bugs spit on the laser turret, they hit everything adjacent to it. But we've left enough space, so that shouldn't be a problem. So, surely, 
a setup like this will be fine. Plus, the Vitors are going to get lost in the uh, the forest here anyway. Whoa, why did it scroll through? Huh, I didn't make blueprints. I don't even have blueprints, but it remembered the, the stuff that I made there. That was whack. Right. Just a whole heap of this. Get to work, my miniature bot army. And as bot armies go, it really is quite miniature. What I love about this is that we're preserving the forest. We are only taking out the slightest number of trees needed in order to place down our glorious defense here. So the bots go down. They bring me back plenty of wood. That's fine by me. Maybe I should set up auto trash for wood, but part of me doesn't want to engage in auto trash mechanics knowing that they're going to be changed in the expansion. Right, how far down are we going here anyway? Oh, there's still a ways to go. And keep on keep on going here. There we go. Compared to the amount of trees we have to utterly destroy when setting up a fire defense, this just warms my cockles. I hope I don't regret the, uh, frankly, dangerously low amount of defenses I'm putting in here. Without many upgrades, these lasers are not particularly strong. Oh, I'm not automating a lot of this even, so let's up the speed of our lasers as much as we can. Get that DPS going from speed, and then when speed is maxed out, we'll go for more... Uh... Hmm. Is there a way for it to go back to my most recent uh, blueprint? Like, if I do that and then scroll up... Yeah, there we go. Kind of strange that it remembers them. I didn't make a blueprint for this. Right, this doesn't need to go down terribly far. I'd even say that is far enough. We just switch it right around. Slight issue is that corners are quite vulnerable compared to the rest of everything. So I'm going to double up on the defense on the corner there. Otherwise that should be a-okay. Look at that, already up at 5.2 out of 20k. I can't wait to get mauling. That's M-A-L-L, -L, not M-A-U-L. Uh, this could be a problem. Okay, well there goes all of my cliff explosives. Fortunately, there appear to be no more cliffs for me to care about. Now, let's just bring you out to about here. What would have been clever is actually setting up a dedicated corner piece for this. Now this is a different story. This place already gets a lot of pollution and it might be aggroed over here. So I'm going to finish this defense and then probably bolster it. Might double or even triple the defense on this side. Uh, as I said earlier, the biters largely laugh off the idea of us using these... Um... I, want, I don't want them to be anywhere near those because they can draw aggro onto the... Um, onto the power cables. Hmm, what'll I do then? What'll I do? I think the clever thing to do is to get rid of all of these. And instead just maximize what I can do while still maintaining a gap between them. So you, and you, and you, and you... However, I'm also thinking of having one here and here. So something like... Something like that? Why does that not line up the way I had hoped? So there's now not one... Oh, no, no, it does work. Okay, I'm just I'm talking crazy. Alright, that should be a plentiful defense, and you know what? I still don't trust it. So I'll probably just add a little bit... Okay, now something is off here. I didn't line these up properly. It is quite important to me to 
not have the... Yeah, man, I, I somehow completely messed this up. You're meant to be one away from each of these. How did I not center that? Or to put it another way, you're meant to be completely at the back of that. Ah, it's because these don't center up. Okay, never mind. I only pretend to know what I'm doing. Yeah, even you're in the wrong place. That might be my initial problem. Anyway, point is that should be plenty of defense around here. I'll reinforce the corner as well because I don't trust it and then it's time to get mining. Never trust a corner. Corners are the ultimate weak spot. You can scroll through your clipboard very handy. Yeah, how best to do that though? It seems like I already need a blueprint in hand. Oh, crikes. I used up all of my drills and we already have this. Okay, mining drill time. I'm going to turn the bots off while I plan this. I have a lot of undergrounds, so I could use the ultra-dense underground design for this. And it is a bit easier to automate that. Nothing to worry about. I mean, sure, the, uh, the biter attacks are getting pretty fierce and they tear down walls every now and then. But we have walls and we have such an unbelievably large amount of repair packs that I could probably leave this factory as it is for probably a literal year in real life and it would be fine. Now, you. We have a little bit of a problem with this. How do we solve this? Well, we start by not worrying about it, and instead we just go... Da -da 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 da da And then... Da -da 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 This is a design that I've been avoiding till now, because it's really rather expensive. But let's see if we can do it really cheaply. So... With little bits of connectors here and here. Don't need that end point. Who knows, might want it someday. And then I can just lovingly use short power poles like so. And I see no good reason that this won't work. While I'm at it, I'll connect you up. Get to work, bots! There we go. I struggle to think of a way that you could make a more dense uh, drilling operation without using logistic bots. And even then... Mm, yeah, maybe, but I'm not seeing it. Anyway, we have that, so we grab it. And we just go... No need for gaps here. Bump. 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 Oh, oh, that one. That last one didn't work out so well. Yeah, maybe it did. Thinking about it, maybe I shouldn't have powered it. Keep it unpowered for now. I'm not using too many of my miners and drills here. Fit there because of these. Well, no skin off my nose. So, think of the time it would take to build this and our bots just get it done. Truth be told, the fact that I only have 50 bots and they're kind of slow, they don't really save me that much time. I can manually insert the efficiency modules much faster than they can for one. Plug a few gaps here and there because I want to want to grab every square of this that I can. All right, groovy. You want to work now? Everyone, a kicker. Excellent. Excellent. 
But yeah, a lot of this is very un if, uh, inefficient use of underground belting. I can't claim to be terrifically happy with that. But that's fine. You're going to get some mixed output. Oh, I am well aware. We have mixed output. I don't think in any of these, but here and here and even here, there is mixed output. So what do we do about that? What indeed. Well, let's drag this stuff up first, shall we? Uh, he says up. I think I'll start here because it's the most space limited. You come up like so. Ew, this little little bit here gets in my way. This is what I get for not bringing enough cliff explosives with me. But we're away from the base, so we can't fret over every egg. And however, fret over getting my achievement for having these bots do all the building work for me. Eventually, stuff's going to have to come up and along here. We'll do some jiggery pokery with that to make it happen. Eh, up here seems all right. Now, all right, you. Something needs to be done about this mix up. So, so, so. We're going to make sure that we export the. Better to do it at this earlier point, I would dare to say. Let's make sure that we output filter to the right any of the iron ore. Hey, we've got Solaris! Was that because of the past hour or what? Yes, that looks to be exactly it. So you need to wait until there is not even a drip of steam energy left. Because I'm pretty sure we've outputted far more than 10 gigajoules in this time. Given the accumulators charge up to 3.6 and they do drain a fair bit. That's nice though, that means I can rig back up my steam generators without too much worry. Right, so, 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 input priority is coming from the iron. And in it goes there. Uh, similarly, you're going to be bringing out your copper ore. So I want to make sure... Are you going to bring out copper ore, actually? No, there's nothing mixed over here, but you're mixed. Mixed patches are always fun. It's actually, in my experience, rather rare to find mixed patches uh, when you have gotten away from your starter uh, starter location. Holy cows, did I actually use all of my undergrounds already? It's a scary thought. I need some of those back, you know. There you go, you can have that kind of power. Actually, I need considerably more undergrounds. I don't think I'd use up that many. But I did. Either that or I can't see them. Oh! Oh, not only that, I didn't have enough. Very scary thoughts. Explains why some of the ore wasn't coming up over here. Alright, output priority is on the left for copper ore. And then that copper ore is gonna just arrive its way over here. Punk. Input priority is from the right. Input priority is from the right. Make sure there's no copper ore uh, getting in the way here. And that should be fine. As long as everything's flowing, there shouldn't be any backups here or issues with things backing up. But I can always use splitters down the line to make sure that all of them are getting pulled from. I suppose if there's a problem here, and there kind of is, it's that this is only three lines of iron ore. And five lines of copper ore. There's an argument for having pushed this over to the right a bit and making this more iron-centric, but uh, what the hell. We can make do with three and, uh, three and what's-its? Hmm. 
Actually, do I want to do it that way? I would really like extra iron ore coming in. Mm, yeah, you know what? That's how we're going to do it. This isn't going to be a copper ore patch messed up with iron. It's going to be an iron ore patch messed up with copper. So again, said copper is going to come out this way. It's taken uh, considerably longer than it needs to, that's for sure. Input priority from the right. And now... Oh, crumbs. I just messed that up entirely. Output priority left with copper. That's what I'm talking about. That's more four and four. One, two, three, four. And then there's some spare change coming in here. I don't really care much about the spare change here. So what I think I will do is just reverse. Reverse, 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 reverse. I'm working against the whole make the bots do all the work achievement. But there we go, that'll fix that. You can get another iron source for sure. Uh, it's on the cards, but for now I just want to make sure that my factory is running. I want to get all these goods back home and then ensure that there is actual production of everything going. Uh, this is in the way, of course. Um, do I have landfill for that? Of course I do not. And I still have some more miners that I want to put down. Considerably more, even. Where's that tank of mine? I left it all the way up there. Alright, I'm going to need it for belts anyway. Grab that and bring all this back. You can tell I'm not very experienced in making mining operations like this. Looks like a lot of cliffs you need underground for. Yeah, I'll need them here as well. I might need to go back and restock. Fortunately, I've got some gates, so driving out wouldn't be an issue if I hadn't put uh, hadn't put lasers everywhere. All right, so I need more undergrounds. It would be a good idea to also get some more. Oh, actually, I'll just get cliff explosives. Screw the undergrounds for that. Cliff explosives will do everything I need. How do I get out of here? There's not a lot of space to eke through, but eke through our tank shall. There we go. Where are my gates? There are my gates. I love gates, they're so cool. Don't worry, resources will have you home soon enough. Hello, what do we have here? I'll tell you what we have here. Absolutely nothing, and certainly not an expansion party. Ever mention how much I love personal defense lasers? Yeah, lasers are convenient. That's the reason I'm bringing lasers over here instead of fire. For any wall that I need absolutely defended to the last man, it's flamers all the way. But if something just needs lightly defended, then really just, uh... Just the lasers will do. I have really got to figure out better pathing around here. These poor trees. They gave their lives for me. They were once lush and green, and now they are... Well, quite the opposite. Uh... Please don't take my walls. I like my walls. I'll just get rid of my goods like this. You'll never see them again. Get rid of all these excessive ores that I've picked up for no good reason. Right, what was I needed? I needed a whole lot of undergrounds and a handful of cliff explosives. I can do that. Did I want some more landfill? Doesn't really matter. I don't have the makings for landfill. Although this thing is in the way. I want to bring them up there and through that. I should have the stones for landfill. Although, what if I did? What if I just stole all of this stone and turned it onto landfill? Nobody would be able to tell me off. Except it's barely any landfill. <laughs> oh man, the amount of landfill you get is never that pretty. Right, just. Can I not just drop some of this off? I don't want to carry it on me. 
We're very slowly working on our tech, all because of the horrific iron sh uh, copper shortage. I decided early on that if I played on worlds with biters, lasers would be the way to go, because no need to worry about logistics of ammo. We'll never underestimate the fire. Lasers, especially unupgraded, can only go so far. Although I suppose on non-death world settings, lasers are more than necessary, and they're quite early in the technology tree to get. So yeah, go lasers. Don't let me tell you otherwise. I want a few more efficiency modules, Wally. I'm here, but I absolutely want some cliff explosives. So that's some steel, uh, which I have. Grenades, which I actually have. And some explosives, which I didn't have. Give me that. Give me that. Such a sad amount of blue circuits. But don't worry, I will fix everything real soon. Fire is just so powerful. It's not just that it's very powerful as it is. A direct ro a direct burst of fire will kill everything short of a behemoth, uh, even without damage-enhancing research. Uh, the real win with fire is that it's area of effect damage, and you don't get a lot of sources of that in this game. And it's extremely efficient. It barely uses any resources. One single pump jack early game is going to fuel all your defenses. I mean, once it balances out, that might take a little bit of time. That's screw. Just give me like all of those. I need to turn them into a whole lot more undergroundy belts. I severely underestimated my need for underground belts. That's on me. Just have, just have all of these do it. No, 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 no. Hmm. Boy, they took a fair number of them, didn't they? Uh, give me all of the iron. Nice thing about being copper short is that we end up iron rich. This will probably take two journeys. I feel so slow without my exoskeletons. We'll have those reinstalled soon enough, don't you worry, girly. There we go. So with those, the stone, it all comes back home, and then we just feed the furnace. As soon as we have that, the first thing I'm probably going to do is automate purple science. Not just because I want purple science automated, I absolutely do, uh, but I want the electric furnaces that are automated as part of that, because we're going to move away from steel furnaces real soon. Also, you're finished, you're finished, you're finished, you're finished. And, if I'm not mistaken, all of you are finished. The initial um, iron and copper patch have now been fully exhausted. Yeah, there's a... You, you, you can be brought out that tiny little sliver of cotton. Uh, cotton? Copper. You can even watch it get done. Can't we? Is no one going to build that? Ah, there we go. I just wanted that little bit out there so I didn't have even more copper clogging things up. I think the way that bots do this is going to be better handled down the line. If I can believe everything I read. There we go, it all goes away. And now I can actually replace that unnecessary underground. I really, really like this. I can imagine some people actually don't like the transition of going to just automating your base from this impersonal point. But me, it just feels like such a power spike in the game. And a well-deserved one at that. After dragging yourself around building 20,000 things by hand, you can finally have your own children to do it for you. Sometimes I think that's why, why my parents had kids. Dig all these holes in the garden. Do my accountancy work for me. Go sweep the gutters. Oh, sorry, were you too busy working hard? Right, good to see the pile of dead corpses is still there. I don't think anybody's come to attack my outpost yet, but it's not made enough mess of its own yet. Most people don't play in Death World and enjoy bots very early on. 
Even if you're playing Death World, I think you can enjoy bots early on. I just don't because I lack experience in getting to bots early on. Oh, right. I just realised we're not inside my, um, my bot network here. I will probably need to set up a dedicated bot network here. Whether or not I want to connect it to my other bot network, definitely not, because then I'll have bots flying over uh, the danger zone. So I will probably make a little area with a few odds and ends, just so that if there's any damage done or anything, God forbid, gets destroyed, my bots can go and take care of that. Now, let's get these resources where they need to be. Starting with getting rid of you. Uh, come on, bots, get to work. Not paying you to sit around on the job here. Uh, also, not quite there yet. How about we bring all of you out and over here? I want you coming up around this point. That'll be the farthest bit of iron. Alright, that seems to work. You go out to there, to there, to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. Does that work or does that break anything? Almost, almost works. All right, hey, you know what? You can give my uh, you can give my tank a bit of a lift here. Sure, it's a lot of work, but I'm bringing in more belts of ore than I've ever had before. Genuine question. How come you haven't put a railroad down between this outpost and the main factory? Uh, I actually think it would be more work to put a railway down for this. I'd have to do a loading and an unloading. I don't know where I'd put the unloading. I'd still need to bridge across the, the train or have the train go through Spitter Valley, which I don't want it to do. It's not a very long distance to do with belts. If it were much further away, then sure, I'd probably... I would probably use a train, but it's not, so I'm not fashed about it. Right, what do we do with you? Did I make enough landfill for this? Probably not, right? Oh god, no, nowhere near. I've only got 34 here. Uh, how much landfill does this require? Ninety! Jeez, oh. I certainly should have made more. Hey, you know what? While I'm here... I really, I really want some landfill, for God's sake, guys. Uh, these guys would take forever at it. However, they could, if I just set up the mining operation, they could get me the landfill that I need. Aha, clever. Also, I should keep in mind that I have radars for a reason. Laser shooting speed complete. Let's get some laser damage. It's expensive. But we'll just maximize the damage these things can do. Let's see. Uh, they do 42 damage per shot, and they do 4.8 shots per second. That's pretty good. And there's no not a small amount of them either. The addiction's still running strong. I would call it an addiction. Jenks, you know, Rimworld, that's an addiction. Factorio is more of a passing fancy. Might be a bit extreme, but I want eyes on all of this. Plus, these radars will unveil quite a lot of territory out here. See, uh, I put a radar down here, and it explored all the way out here. Radars, they're a bit slow at it, and they are very power-hungry, but I cannot deny their usefulness in scouting like that. Sure, you just play it on your day off and think about it all the time. 
Yeah, sure, I'm about as addicted to Factory as I'm addicted to water. Oh, hey, since I brought the cliff explosives over, get out of here. I want, uh, I want all this taken care of. Ooh, I forgot to efficiency module up the back sides. Anything else I missed with the efficiency modules? No, it looks okay. I don't want a drop of this iron left. Uh, also, I would actually like that put to where it needs to be. There we go, 7.3k out of 20k. Mmm, that is a big, juicy mine. Not only that, it's a healthy amount. 5 million copper, 3.2 million iron. It's pretty much doubling the amount of iron that I have on extraction duty. Alright, so about that stone would be helpful if I grabbed you and then just thumped you down on the stone and then maybe I can use the stone that pumps out of you to make a little landfill. A little difficult to do when I can't see where the stone starts and ends but... Oh, crumbs. Undo, 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 undo. Mm. Mistakes were made. I should have made this um, a fixed gritty operation, but I did not, like a fool. Three of you, do I care about that a little bit on the edge? I mean, yes and no, but there you go anyway. Don't need the end bits on you here. And a lot of this end stuff here isn't necessary. Don't destroy any trees that you don't have to. And now, get to work, bots. I love seeing this part. And this, like I said, is a small amount of bots. I should reasonably have something like 200 bots working for me right now. I only have 50 and they're kind of slow. But speeding up the bots is expensive. Wait a second, that's not expensive at all! Sod the energy weapons, give me faster bots. Much faster bots. Ugh, faster than that requires better science, but... Ugh. I want faster bots that hold more items and cost less. I'm not joking. I will get them. Uh, I don't have enough efficiency modules for this, as best as I can tell. Well, that's a bummer, but too bad. Otherwise, they pretty much got it all built. The reason I'm short on efficiency modules anyway is because I... Your horse is there. Is because I'm low on copper, and a big part of this is bringing the copper back home. So, what do we do with this? We have four lines, and we don't need four lines. So, we do the ultimate compression plan. How do you neatly compress four belts into two? You do this. Done. <laughs> Much, much easier than vent belt balancing pretty much anything else. And because this stone is just pouring out, I can grab all of the landfill I need to bring all of this over. Works like a charm every time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't even bother bringing belts in numbers like 7 and 5 and 3. Do it like two, one, two, four, eight, sixteen. Make your life easy. Make it two to the N. If you don't know what that means, then shame on you. Right, where's my last landfill? Just, just fill it all in, buddies. I shall grab us yet more landfill, and just like that, we should be able to do all of this. He says all that two to the power stuff while blatantly bringing over eight, the uh, ten rather, lines of ore. Can we count, um... Ooh, now there's a question. Is stone an ore? I'd say it's a mineral, but how, how could that be a mineral when iron ore is not? What's the definition of an ore? I don't know. Get to work, my bots. Yeah. What do you mean you're out of track? Here, here's your track. Get 
Yeah, mineral, not ore, but I can't explain why. I'm gonna Google it now. See, a good game is something that teaches you. And sometimes it's not about getting information, but about getting curious. There are ten types of people, those who understand Jake and those that don't. You know the whole ten types of people, those who understand binary and those who don't? Never made sense to me. Because ten is three. Right, let's bring you in, shall we? This could be a little awkward, so how are we going to do this? Well, this might be a little less awkward than I thought. Look, it all lines up. Uh, of course, I did just depower my defense. Oh, my, that actually works out really well. Can I just bring you here and then you here? Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that works out nicely. Very, very nicely. That comment explains a lot of EU4. No, it explains my vast intellect. 1 0 is three options 0, 1 0, 0 1, 3. Was inefficient, but that's okay. Right. I'm never good at doing these corners. What I should probably do is something like just grabbing this corner here and doing that and lip. Ah, there we go. Thank you for working hard, bots. You work hard so that I don't have to work at all, let alone hard. Now, bots utterly drink your battery. Your personal robot ports have to work really hard. That's why I'm a big fan of having yeah, at least four, probably rather have six Mark II batteries. And it's why I'm excited about having quality armor in the update. Could you imagine? Also, look at the speed of these guys now. They just got like a 40% speed upgrade. Additive, not multiplicative, but still good. I hear you, Jake. Ten is also four. Now we're getting somewhere. Well, bigger numbers are better. There we go. All the ore we could ever need flowing right in. And it is dense. There is not a gap in it uh, until we get to this point. Why is there a gap in you? It's because you are... Yeah, you'll be fine. And you're unpowered, but that's hardly a problem. Well, it's inexcusable right now. Besides, I need to head back. I need to... Well, there won't be any more efficiency modules, but I do need to go and link this up to my smelters so that we can get to work processing this ore and minerals. I'm going to keep my last cliff explosive, you never know. It's like keeping some cyanide in your tooth. Better to have a plan. Right, there we go. You might think all those miners are going to be super, super smelly. But I think we're going to be... Well, actually, these ones are ultra smelly because they're not fully moduled up. I need... I forget how many modules it was, but an uncomfortably large number of them. Ease our way through. Don't mind me. There we go. Back we go, go. You know, since I'm so concerned about attacks here, do I have the wherewithal to double wall this? The answer is yes, actually. Let's just take this wall and add another wall. Dunk. Yeah, you can pretty much end there. Yeah, I love just seeing them lay a wall. No more of that walking along, doing it yourself, messing up a little bit, and then it's off center. Nope. These things know how to wall. 
There we go. Alright, back to base. We're going to link this up. We're going to sort out our smelters, and it's kind of sad that I'm going to sort them out with our smelters, because our smelters are going to be one of the first things that we redo. It's, it's funny doing all this stuff, but actually not working towards our mega base. It's just that the mass production 2 goal is so enormous that we do need to work hard to, to get there. I also need the white science for minions. Those two achievements stop this run from already being over. Because I could just go out and uh, swiftly get all the remaining required achievements also, also. Let's not have any busted pieces of machinery lying around. Also, are all of you functional? No, no you are not. You come to me, I want your modules. Not working, not working, not working, not working, not working, not working. Not working. Practically Irish on the job. There we go. The naturally occurring... <laughs> excuse me. The natural occurring mineral from which a mineral or minerals of economic value can be extracted. Usually minerals, mineral metals, mined first in ore form and then refined later. Courtesy of the USGC. Or you know... Although I feel like I know less after reading that. That was confusing. Right. Do I have the belts to bring it over? Ye probably. Let's give it a go. Chugga 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 chugga. Uh, oh yeah, it's quite far down here, isn't it? Well, we'll take it as far as we can go. If I need to stock up for more, then I need to stock up for more. This is probably the furthest I'm willing to go with belts, though. Beyond this, yeah, use a train. But sometimes it's just so nice to see all the belts working the way they do. And this is one of those times. Uh, hang on, can't I just copy and then scroll towards... Yeah, there we go. I had no idea the game could remember these things, and now I do. Oh, crumbs. That last, bit, that last part was a no-go. Slipped and put it too far up. We're not demolishing a single tree that we don't have to. Although if we were using exclusively underground belts, it'd be a different story. Alright, slight issue. What's the range on underground... Ooh, just a little, little, little bit too far. Alright, well, fair enough. You're going to come down to here, you're going to carry on. And you are going to... There we go, go. And now we can get back to hard work. I need to actually start thinking about how I bake this ore into everything soon. See, I think those four iron ore uh, bits are going to go towards steel exclusively. Just a thought. The main reason I switched from starter poles to metal ones to Stasiturn is so that I can no longer accidentally destroy them by a ramming. Mm, it can generally survive one big hit from a car. I don't often use the tank, so I can't comment much about that. I think I want you coming up along here. Let me think for half a second. Um, wish I had some 3x3 thing that my bots wouldn't build on their own. Do they have access to storage tanks? One, two, three, four... Twelve. Twenty-four. That's how far you're going to come out, so... I will just... Keep note of you being there. And bring my ore line out to about there-ish. Which means you're in the way. Well, that was a given. 
Also, I'm going to need yet more cliff explosives. I feel like I'm starting to cause myself more problems than I'm solving by bringing this over by a massive belt, but I'm committed to the idea now, so too bad. Point is, I need more cliff explosives, but not more undergrounds, and possibly more belts. Why do I do this to myself? Out of my way. These trees can still marginally soak up my refinery problems. You come to me, you come to me. Almost completely out of stone now, so the stone is coming in. It's coming in at a much needed time. Drift your way up here, my tanky friend. And then, right, let me think, more explosives. And I need more grenades. Good thing I'm making all these grenades. Give me those. It never sees just one hit when I'm in the factory. <laughs> quite funny. Tell you what, I'm... 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I feel very, very sad for my poor red production, so I'm just going to give them a turbo boost right now. It's a point of buffering greens if we don't put them to good use. Oh, they're gone already. Okay. Well, they'll keep busy. Still need explosives for cliff explosives. Give me all of those, please. Grab this junky ore off of me, please, my Logistabots. And then some couldn't quite make the cut. Right, I think I was also coming back for a touch more underground belts. Crawling around like this is unacceptable. Put on the trousers. I think I grabbed repair packs there. That's fine. I've used some. It's still such a mess in my inventory. Uh, also, did I drop a cliff explosive? Because there was no room to insert it into my inventory. No, I don't know. Actually, I don't know what happens with handcrafting if your inventory is full. Probably nothing good. Okay, I don't need the tank anymore, kind of. But I'll still take it. It's nice to see the tank get carried. Plus, I want to get some use out of my tank. Once we have Spider Tron, the tank will be completely redundant. I cannot think of a single use for the tank once you have Spider-Tron. I mean, sure, it fires its gun with an added... I forget if it's a speed or a damage bonus. And it's the only thing that can fire tank cannon shells. But none of those are necessary when you have glorious Spider-Tron. Great addition to the game, really. I do, do love me some Spider-Tron. Err... Uh... Oh, right, now we're inside our own factory's building zone. Ah. Could be considered a problem. Some of what I want to do. Right, well, I want to bring my ores up here. That's for certain. at least have this part sorted out. I'm worried about the cost of this. I mean, one way or another, I need to move these things up and along. Not going to cost any more or any less, however I slice it here. Why is that off by one? I see I took you down a little bit too much, didn't I? Well, certainly keeping my bots busy here. I can turn off my personal bots for this one, I think. 
Yeah, all 468 construction dots are hard at work for this. That's what I want. Let me bring it in on the corner nicely. And I just need to make sure that we don't have any errant power poles or the like getting in the way. I also need to be careful that I'm not uh, breaking everything by doing that. Can a power pole stretch over this? The answer is no. And that's exactly why we have some things that can uh, still not get over that. Well, then that's why we have undergrounds. Bunk, 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 done. Anything else getting in my way around here? Of course. I knew errantly placing all these poles earlier was going to come and be a pain in the bum. I just didn't think it would be for this massively thick load of... Um, Massively thick load of belt that I'm laying down. Don't usually like hugging these as tight as I am. This is no exception. I'm gonna get rid of that. No, still not that. There we go. ain't working out. Uh, copy that. Paste it along like so. And I missed a spot. Copy that. Paste it along like so. And then aside from you, for some odd reason, it all goes along nicely. Problem probably lies in my bots not having good access to undergrounds. Poor is Wurbam being ignored. <laughs> I don't see much of Zorbam these days, do we? Very, very sad. Always sad to see people and then not see them. I've seen Zorm in the meat sphere a few times as well. He often made the uh, made the effort to get to Paradox events. Right. I really need to bring that stone in here, even if it's just temporary. This is a very, very sad looking load of stone. And unfortunately, stone is in the exact wrong side of all of this to do that. Now let me help you out. my bots take care of this because there's a slight gap in my bot network. It's a shame that I'm doing a lot of things as haphazardly as I am right now, but the sad truth is that without copper, pretty much everything in my base is ground to a standstill. On the plus side though, it's making good work on you are doing it right, even if I have been making things uh, by hand every now and then. <laughs> did of course mean the big pulse. He was a big pole. He was a huge guy. Alright, alright. How do we cut it with the stones? I'm thinking one belt of stone can come along here and just be on the belt and the other go over to the smelter array. But there's another thing that says combine them. Yes, I like that idea. Okay. Let me see how you join the belt here. Okay, okay. I see it all. Uh, you are still getting stone, somewhat surprisingly. I'll tell you what, could we... Is it, is it inside our realms of possibility to finally segregate? A few things I love more than segregation. For example, if you just do that, and you do that, it might take a wee while, but it's going to stop the stone and the coal being mixed. Uh, it comes with its own problems. Not all the coal is going to be mined. However, 
it could be if we had uh, something like you. This is heavily autistic. There is absolutely no need for this. There we go. No more mixed belting. Oh, wait, that's mixed belt. How are you even on any coal? Where's the coal? Oh, God, that's a square of coal. Okay. Still solvable. I just need to bring you down a touch. There we go. That gets all the stone, although you're going to be there for a while. No belt mixing shenanigans. No need for you anymore. How are we going to sort this out a little bit better, though? Not done yet. Because you will actually have some stone coming in via this route. This is ugly in a lot of ways. I'm sure I'm glad I brought all of these underground belts with me. Oh man, love to see it all flow like that. Now. Ah, that lagged out. Upsa-daisy, 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 upsa-daisy. And you. Output priority to main bus. Also, you seem to be missing that being the right way around. Okay. <laughs> That's a little less okay. Um, this could be solved in a myriad of ways, one of which could be just using big power poles, but I don't want to use big power poles, not just yet at least. Still, there we go, that brings you in, and I'm also going to make sure that input priority comes from the right, so that I'm using up the existing stone patch here. Frankly, I'd like all this cleared out, but I don't know that point just yet. But whenever you're not full, we bring in this stone, and that's going to work for these smelters to get me wall for my black science, which is severely wall-starved. This is still a very pathetic smelter array for the stone, but stone will get a proper smelter array up here soon. What matters right now is getting all of this dealt with. Now, how am I going to do that? I have an idea. Not sure if it's a good idea, though. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure just two belts of this is going to be good for steel production. I might want all of these into steel production. But then what about this? Actually, you could become my copper production. So I end up with iron, iron, copper, copper, steel... Your two red belts of uh, of iron, that could be made to work. You need to be repurposed, though. Which, first and foremost, means cutting you off. Let's just uh, demolish all this, first and foremost. It's definitely some, uh, some rejigging to be done. Especially since, like I said, all this is going to be changed up anyway, but for now, let's just deny you that and turn you into copper. Time to rip out and redo smelting. I'd like to get my science started up first and foremost before I do that, because redoing smelting means crafting a lot of electric furnaces, and as you can tell, they're no cheap. 
Hmm, but I would like them first and foremost for up here. I do need a lot of bricks for that. And as we know, I didn't produce enough bricks. So our streamer is a ratio optimizer or not so much. A real preference, just curious. Uh, I don't I don't rate perfect ratios very well, so I don't tend to bother with them. Right. Sorry, trees, but it's time for you to go. You have served me very well, and you have pretty much died for my sins. But I want you gone, because I need this space. I'm only going to need this space more in due time. Hmm, I don't have more of those. I need to make more of those. And I can make one, barely. But it can be done. My attitude with uh, with ratios is much like my attitude with perfection in real life. I'd rather have something done now than done late and perfect. Maybe that's why I fit in so well at Paradox. Right. Don't know how high this is going to be going, but let's be ready for anything. Bit more of that gone, please. Can I throw this at nothing? No, you can't. Huh. How about that? Cliff explosives aren't that cheap. Oh, man, i got to stop making inefficient throws like that. And earlier on, I was criticizing robots for not being efficient enough at doing that. All right, off to the new job, where I get paid more for doing less. Enjoy your ice cream. Because surely there's ice cream involved there. There's ice cream involved in every aspect of your life, from what I've been able to ascertain. Right, what do I do about you? I need, to, I need to grab a lot of this steel, I think. Just so that you gobble up a bunch of the steel that's there. And uh, do it faster. I just want to clear the line of uh, steel there for a bit so I can switch it out for copper. Might be heavily inefficient to do, but we're doing it. Also, just make these into steel chests. Eh, seems like a waste. But I don't want some of them. Also, you've got robo boards for me. That's nice. Our unreasonably fast robot workers. It's about as fast as we can make them without infinite science. Or dreaded purple science. That's in a way even worse. Uh, stack insert a bonus can only go so high as well. I wouldn't mind having landmines. We'll get on that. Right. So, 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 so. Goodness, that copper line is so sad. Could we not drag this out and augment it? Like, two lines of copper on you. That would mean that all the copper is going along here, essentially making it that I have uh, I've made a grievous error with all of this, I'm sure. Yeah, actually, honestly, I could, I could tear it out and have all four lines up here, but we're already dragging it up here, so we'll make do with this. Alright, how's this going to go? <laughs> If you think I had a plan for this, well then I know you don't know me. So I'm just straight up dragging you into here for this and this then. That makes sense to me. Let's just get rid of all is remaining. Oh yeah, Christ, you come in from both sides. That's why you were still being fed. Didn't want that. And wow, you have got a load of steel left inside you. I suppose in a way that's good, but you are no longer a steel line, so you're getting cut off there. All your steel are belong to me. 
Get this garbage out of my inventory. Yeah, I'll just clear up all this uh, all this steel here. Or as much as I can, at least. Yeah, because you've got a ton of steel inside you. Yeesh. That's what I get for trying to change this out. It was probably a terrible idea. Probably should have waited to turn everything off before I do this. Alright, tell you, the most important thing right now is just getting that copper of mine set up. So... Let us first have you come over here. Put you in. Input priority from the left. Cannot insert copper ore. Cannot comprehend that is my problem. And then the other one just comes along here. Up you go. Input priority from the right. There we go. So again, it prioritizes the existing mine that's right next to me, so hopefully this dries out faster. And then this will be our glorious import. And finally, copper's going to start coming out at a somewhat reasonable pace now. And I also want it coming along here. And having you no longer be full of steel. I think the only reasonable way I can do that is by picking up all of these and putting them back down. That's going to give me an uncomfortable amount of resources. But that's okay, I can just dump what I have. Where's my tank? Oh, my tank's all the way down there. Who needs plans anyway? General gist is sufficient. <laughs> well, it's not very fast, but we're not part of the challenge anymore. Well, not part of the timed challenge. So I don't mind. I'm just happy. This is kind of nice and relaxing for me. There we go. When you when you got no skill, just claim that it's a nice chill stream. Oh, sorry, that might call out a few too many streams. Mine included. Anyway, did we get this expanded up here? Yes we did, so I can dispose of yet more of you. There she goes. Not the uh, not the cliffs, though. You don't have the wherewithal to do that. I love watching the robots work like that. Jump, 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 jump. I don't think it counts towards you are doing it right, because that's specifically for construction, not destruction. Uh, right, speaking of destruction. Hopefully I don't get too full of goodies here. And again, like I said, I'm going to be switching this out pretty damn soon, so it's a bit nonsense pulling all this away. More than a bit nonsense. Even so, I pick them all up just to make sure they're properly emptied out, and I just put them right back down. Continually working against my own you are doing it right achievement. And now... I need to bring over the copper here, but this is going to become a red belt. At least until the halfway point. Where's the halfway point? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then you become yellow belt here. Not at this point, though. Copper comes in. This all counts full of copper. I get rid of all of this silly steel. If you're wondering how I'm just picking it up by running across it, you hold F and you pick up everything you run across. Very, very handy. Uh, get rid of this coal that's bogging me down. And now along comes not Matthew Steel, but Matthew Copper. Matthew Copperfield? Uh, Matthew Steel is a character from stronghold 2. So he always comes to mind whenever I say the word steel. And he's often referred to by a very evil character calling him Matthew Steel. That's uh, Lord Barclay, another character in it. God, stronghold 2 is pretty awful, but there are a lot of fun, memorable moments in my opinion. 
Right, there we go. That has sorted out our production. Look at those big, fat lines of copper. So now green chips are back in production, although I still want to speed this up because I should end up with two glorious lines of... Oh god, oh god. Is there a problem with my output here? Where did the steel go to other than there? I feel like I didn't think through my steel lines very well. No, I think it both came out over here. So that should be fine. It still doesn't, still doesn't seem right though, does it? I feel like I'm making some grievous error. Yeah, see, the thing is that the copper lines are now producing me a red belt rather than a, um, a yellow belt. So I actually need to speed you up. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So these guys need to be red. That comes with its own problems. Uh, I didn't really want to upgrade you to red so soon. And what about the other side? Uh... Oh wait, no, they were already split. Oh god, I've gotten confused myself massively with what I even have here. Right, these two make this yellow belt. And you guys come over here and you make this yellow belt. But you and you are coming along here to make a red belt. Yes, yes you are, right? I'd be much happier if you just made me space here because red belts are very expensive so the fewer undergrounds I have to place for them, the happier I'll be. Yeesh. Right, well this is me absolutely needing a mall, isn't it? Alright, red undergrounds, how insanely expensive are you? Yeah, pretty expensive. But I can actually probably just make a bunch of you by throwing in loads of sprockets. And if there's one thing we have, it's a load of sprockets. Haha, <laughs> 40 sprockets, eat! Just to make two fast undergrounds. Okay, right, well, I can see the problem here now, can't I? Where are my undergrounds? Don't worry, I will be making a proper mall soon, just for now. I want these ready. Screen full of churning furnaces at night is a beauty. It is a beauty. Boy, man, I am worse at scaling up in this game than I thought, and I already thought I wasn't that great at it. Right, you guys just take all of these. Make me all those red undergrounds. I shouldn't need many red splitters. I already have three. What if I need more, though? Uh, well, they're going to necessitate some green chips. That should keep you good for a wee while. Right, so about those reds. Uh, now the problem is you're coming into here, which is where I don't want you. I want you over here. And this is a bit of an impasse here, because now I have all of this copper, but it's still only two uh, yellow belts here. Bringing me to the point of why did I even expand copper if I didn't have this ready for it. That was a honestly very silly thing to do. Mm, very, very silly thing to do. Let's just ignore that for a wee while. Can't you upgrade the belts with the blueprint tool? I could, but I don't have automated red belts. And I'm about to when I set up a mall, but the first thing to do is set up purple science. 
At this point, all of my things should be going fine, so there's our chips. Although, I feel bad for those chips, they're just not getting the copper. The copper is there, but it's not flowing fast enough. And I don't want to do any of the fancy, uh, fancy crap that I did before. So how about we say output priority is towards you, and your output priority is towards you. That way, I'm absolutely drowning you in copper, and then everybody else just gets the dregs. Yeah, that should really kick the greens up the arse. And if I had enough production modules, I could production module you guys up as well. Point is, greens are the sticking point for pretty much the whole factory. And bringing them in will solve a number of problems. It solves reds, it solves blues... Solves everything. At this point I'm wondering if I truly need more uh, solar panels though. We have quite good energy production as it is. I think I'm going to limit that so they don't drink up all of my greens. Mm, actually, I'm just going to limit you that much. They are nice to have after all. Anyway, as long as science is moving that's fine. But the main thing is that science isn't moving because I need purples. So I need to actually think how I'm going to be doing that. Also, I think I can finally get rid of this disaster area here. In fact, there are a few disaster areas around the base. I mean, what the heck is this? This is where I uh, brought in some greens just to turbocharge the blues, but that's not necessary anymore. Just get rid of that altogether. I'm also strongly considering moving where the greens go. One, two, three, four, blip. Hmm. If you weren't there, but instead there. And if you weren't there at all. And if I brought my green science up, uh, it really doesn't make much of an odds. Why don't I just turn it out here and bring it up a touch? Hmm. Alright, I think we have the power to do this. This is where the reds can be really nice. They fix certain uh, certain logistical tight ropes. I want a good belt. Uh, I want a good bus, rather, but I'm not beyond having a bit of spaghetti along the way. So you, for example, are coming up here right next to my beloved train. And that is how you join the science. Quickly now. There we go. Not from here. Uh, whoops. Hold that thought. I've got these reversed. I absolutely have these reversed. But is that a problem, I would ask? And then I would say, no it is not. I need only get rid of all this greenery here. And the problem will fix itself. Anything else worth researching? I will need these defenders for minions, so I may as well get that done. Not an achievement that I'm dying to get anytime soon, but it's good to know your limits. There's something stalling science. Uh, well, the defender's going along fine. Let's see. The blues are coming along slowly, probably due to red chips. So yeah, it's always red chips. And the yellows are coming along slowly, probably due to red chips. <laughs> yeah, because red chips are needed for greens, but that's okay. Well, I assume that's okay. Red chip shortage actually isn't okay whatsoever because I need them for purple science as well. Basically, I just need a butt ton more red chips. So that's a good reason not to have a. Oh, well, buffer's already. already done, so. And okay, now the reds are stalled because of lack of copper. So I really do need to upgrade this line and bring in yet more copper. Hmm. Bit of a bummer, but it's not. 
impossible to deal with. I just need to manually make a bunch of red. Which also needs yet more red. Got so many things to fix. All this would have been fixed ages ago if I just knuckled down and made them all. But that would have been that would have been uncouth, surely. Right, there we go. Actually, just make me a whole bunch of these. There we go. And all of you get to work making me the reds so I can fix my throughput issues. Click that away. I don't like it pinging me with that, uh, that yellow stuff right there. Right, so we've got a red line here and we've got two yellow lines here. Two existing yellow lines can be merged into a glorious red line. Yes, yes, they could. What's the best way to do that? What's the any way to do that? Well, with a red splitter, of course. Red splitter, output priority on the right. And then that does us absolutely no good if we don't actually upgrade the line to red. Hopefully, don't, hopefully we don't miss a spot. And of course, if you don't upgrade the whole thing, it's all for cannot. And what about you, huh? You're gonna go out like so. Wait, that didn't make any sense. You come out like so. That way all of that goes into here, you come out into here, and then we just... How about we use an upgrade planner, huh? I want all of the red, uh, all of the yellow stuff along this line to turn into red stuff. That way you're far less likely to miss a spot. So this is all fine. Just have to do all this. We'll have my bots do it, because my bots are the ones that actually have the reds. Oh, we've got the reds. Splendid. Uh, all of this, please, just red it up. Red the whole damn thing up to here. There's no point going further, because the uh, greens are certainly going to grab... Um, a lion's share of it. So now, the reds come along here. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. And there's still two lines of yellow coming out to service everything else. That's much better. That's what I was hoping for. Alright. That seems to be A-OK. -okay. Alright. I would even dare to say that will solve all of my... Uh, well, maybe not all my problems, but enough of my problems. Uh, stone remains an issue, but that's because the smelting rate is very, very sorry. I will have a proper smelting over there. For now, I need to get to work on purple science, and that means you come with me. Also, I'm not doing this manually. Have my, have my bots do it. Not even my bots, but uh, my bots' bots. Are they getting to work? Yeah, there they are. Right, purple science. It's been a long time since we've thought about properly automating something. I need rails, that's stone, steel, and iron, and I need electric furnaces. The question is, do I give them dedicated production module production? Considering I've got them right here. The answer is, I don't know. You see, I want production modules to use, but I also need them for science. Should I segregate? I don't know. We'll consider that after we've considered the other steps. So, firstly, the bricks and these red chips, and I think it's steel as well, will be used for making some electric furnaces here. Could you just get out of my way a bit? I don't know the ratios for purple science, so let's puzzle it out. Uh, I think you need seven production sciences. So seven um, assemblers for them. Meaning I need one electric furnace every three seconds. They take five seconds to make. If I have five, I'll have one every second. Mm, should I have two of them or just or three of them? 
Shouldn't you fix the red chips before getting on to purples? What's there to fix? Once we gave them uh, copper, they're all running now. They have access to everything they need. Sure, I don't make a ton of them, but I make enough of them. For now. Uh, you made me lose my train of thought. I think what I was thinking was I want three electric furnace setups. That sounds like something I would have been thinking. So we keep it nice and simple. One, two, three. Uh, you're going to make me these. You can't even production module those if you wanted to, so I'll just do them with uh, efficiency modules. You need more bricks and steel than circuits, but your consumption rate is pretty low anyway, so very, very simple. Dit, dit. There we go. Oh, not there. There we go. That should keep it nice and simple. So that's plenty of space for this, because I also want you coming up and along here. Let's make sure that there's plenty of space to merge something else, like you. Dun, 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 dun. The question comes up often enough for me to answer it prematurely. I am running the Stellaris music here. If you think, core blimey, that sounds familiar, where have I heard that before? There we go, side load up the reds. It might look like a lot of reds, but that's just stuff that's been buffered at the edge. Where's my steel? Here's my steel. Remember aeons ago when I said I don't need any fancy setups here because it's the end of the line and we won't ever need anything else coming off here? That was speaking through sheer naivety. Well, it was more thinking along the lines of we are only working towards the rocket, which is not what we're only working towards anymore. Why do I have bricks here? Ah, crumbs. Now I see why we have bricks here. Uh, right. Fun thing about belts is you can weave them. Like so. So the reason this works is that the red underground does not get in the way of this yellow underground. So weaving them can lead to some entertaining solutions to, uh, to problems. Where's my steel? Asks the man who purposely destroyed his own steel production and is now regretting it a touch. That's okay though. I can use my buffered steel until I restart up my steel production. There we go. Jolly good. Yeah, I didn't set up my new steel smelting, meaning I absolutely need to have these guys producing or else I'll be in deep doo-doo. So, the three of you are going to be heading in uh, to my science, of course. You will need it, it blue ship. Alright. Uh, right, it was you, but it's also some more of you. I do think I'd be able to make do with just stealing these, because their first priority should be going towards science. So what I can do is just have you do this. Just shove you into an underground over to here, and just like that. We have uh, reds on there and something else there, and now the last thing I need are rails. Rails are a problem. You need a butt-ton of rails. Uh, specifically, I need... 30 rails times 7... Uh, that's a lot. That is a hell of a lot. Mm -hmm. But they produce very quickly. Why don't I just set up, like... Four rail constructors and have them shove over to here. So let me think. Um, I'm, I'm designing my entire factory by hand, by the way. No blueprints around here. It can lead to some inefficient setups, but do you know what it also leads to? Soul. I do like a nice soulful factory. Not something that's just borrowing someone else's design. Also, it shouldn't be doing this. Manually, I do need that you're doing it right achievement after all. I don't 
know what's ever going to be here, but I like having all these lines available. Right. Mm, I think I'll just direct insert into you. One, two, three sounds about right. No, one, two sounds about right. I hope I have these left uh, around, actually. Pretty sure you can't take productivity modules, so I'll just give you efficiency modules. Heresy, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, good, I do have more of these. How many assembler machines do I have? 30 assembler machines, that'll have to do. Right, you guys are going to make me the glorious intermediate known as iron sticks. They're so cheap, they're not worth productivity moduling, honestly. Da-dun, 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 da-dun. Dip, dip, dip. Oh, no, let's put a little mod modicum of thought into this. There, 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 and there. And I'm also going to need steel in for you. The Matthew variety. So, so, so. Again, this, this steel thing that I swore I wouldn't need more set up for. It's coming out along here, but now for sure this is going to be the end of the uh, end of the belt. No need to concern ourselves further, right? Oh, what? Oh, what do you mean I'm out? There we go. Have the have the bots take care of the rest. The bots are constantly whining about not having this, but that's okay. You know what? I could actually grab this um, and use it as I intend to, which is that. That is meant to be the first part of this whole thing. Might need a bunch of them. I'm starting to already regret only setting up three of you. Because they are quite slow to make, and I do need a lot of them. And the flow of materials for them does seem rather short at the moment. Mm, oh well, not my problem right now. Anyway, rails also need stones. Lots of stones. Fortunately, I have my stones right here. I got it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead them right to me. So I've had other games on my mind today, especially while playing um, Death's Door. I mean, Death's Door was alright. I left that positive review. This wasn't that good. <laughs> Which is kind of a damning indictment. I thought, I thought it was a very cookie cutter game in the end. Paint by numbers. Didn't push the boat out in any way. And maybe to some people that's just a okay. Right, so there we go. Now you have access to stones, iron, steel. You don't have access to iron. Where's my iron? There you are. This is tight, but I left myself precisely enough room to get through there. You know, I can see why it would be advantageous just cu uh, cutting this and making a film out of it. I'm just uh, reflecting what Michael Hendricks does with his uh, Factorio stuff. There's a lot of... I hesitate to call it downtime, but... Scutter like this. There are times in his videos. He's a he's a Factorio YouTuber. Also does some Minecrafty stuff. I've never seen any of that. Uh, point is, I forget what my point is. That gonna work? Mm. Oh, I missed you there. There you go. I like to overdo it with uh, with small poles anyway. So there we go. I love setups with the long-handed inserters like this, because this guy really chunks out the wooden poles there. And now that you've got that, I need you to put them out quite quickly onto fast inserters. I hope a fast... Uh, onto fast belts, rather. I hope this is enough, but there's a good chance it won't be. So you need to come down to here, 
you two take this side. That doesn't work, does it? Let me rethink that. More stressful things about coming up with your own designs here. Right, how about you two do that? And you two do that. Why did that not work? Probably for obvious reasons. There you go. You two just get split right in, and like so. And now I have everything I need to sort out my purple science. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, this is kind of hideous in its own ways. And you're in the way. That's also hideous. Right, uh, never mind, never mind. It can all be fixed. Right, I want the productivity sites in you. Da 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 da. I absolutely want prod mod in all of you. Because this stuff is expensive. Oh, no, 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 not like that. It gets used as an ingredient before it gets used as a module, sadly. And you can't copy and paste that for moduling design. Covarex, please fix. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, you just had to get in the way like this, could and yeah, this doesn't work. Oh well, far be it for me to have a bit of space in this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dit, 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 dit. And now I have a problem because these are on the wrong side. Uh, how do I fix this problem? Could give them two long handed inserters, but I'd rather give them two fast inserters. Could I just do this? Why don't I just, you know, wipe you out with bots? I don't need to pick up all this stuff like a plebe. There we go. Now we are doing the talking. I can't believe I'm out of uh, transport belts myself. Alright, seems to work to a degree. Ugh. move them all along by one. What's the point in having bots if they won't do this simple task for me? And then the long hands can get the, the things that are needed in far lower quantity. And da 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 da, I'm actually gonna use these medium electric poles that I did actually make. There we go. Phenomenal. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Bots will never do cleaning or hauling. <laughs> That's good. And would you look at that? It goes right into the science belt that we already created. Alright, that might have been a mess in a lot of ways, but it's my mess. And I feel all the better for it. As for what the problems are ultimately going to be in this, well, we shall see. But they are chavanawa, 
and uh, despite the extravagance and cost, oh god, yeah, the productivity modules are going to run out real fast. The problem is red chips. Absolutely no question about it. I need a ton more red chips being produced. But uh, that necessitates more green chips. And it will, one way or another, need to contribute to making more blue chips. So the chip starvation is starting to be rather real. So essentially I just need this entire green chip setup multiplied. Which is starting to make me think about just doing these kinds of things off-site also. Would you look at that? The, uh, the pollution is barely spreading. I love to see it. I don't love to see that. I'm actually surprised you're starved on greens, of all things. Perhaps it is because too much of it's being eaten by... Oh, well, you, you guys are ferociously eating up the, uh, the greens. I'm actually going to call canny on that a bit. Might call canny on that a lot, actually, just so that when I use them I don't need to worry too much about that. Need to up the pollution so more biter attacks would make things interest. Oh, no, we are long past the point of having an interesting run here. Interesting flew out the window long ago. Pretty much once we had bots defending the walls, there was no real possibility of, a, of an attack. Alright, well, with the purple now joining the eternal sushi... Ba I've made a mistake! Hmm. I never thought it would come to this. Alright. Output priority left for purple science. Is that even within my build zone? Oh, barely. Yeah. There we go. Is there any purple around here? It's alright. The purple would have immediately gotten eaten. But still, I do want my sushi belt, but... I hadn't even considered that purple and yellow would end up on the same side. <laughs> exactly, Seru. Oh yeah, I told everyone back then, right? This is uh, after the after there is no spoon. There's not going to be a whole lot of interesting going on. Well, maybe my approach to base building is interesting to some perverted individuals. But the main challenge was getting that rocket launched within eight hours with Lazy Bastard and Death World and Got Lab. I got lap. Huh, this isn't actually balanced due to the way that these things prefer to take from a certain side, but I think once they... F oh yeah, crikey, these things have their problems. It's all down to reds. All of my problems right now are reds. I tell you what, you are truly a buffer. Send, uh, send things that way first and foremost. Give me these reds. Let's turbocharge the production of certain items just so I can get certain technologies going. Yeah, look at that. They're only they're only going there if they got nowhere else to go, and they have other places to go. You guys, da, 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 da. there we go. That should turbocharge me for about um, what would that be? Ten, forty times four, about one hundred and sixty. Are those modules times three because of that times one point oh eight for the efficiency modules? That's some purple coming in. The question is, what am I doing with all this purple? The answer is. I want Spider-Tron. Spider-Tron loves me and I love it, so we're going to get it. With Spider-Tron doing what it's doing, or the research towards Spider-Tron slowly making its way across, uh, I want to be able to arm my Spider-Tron with the greatest weapon. A whole load of explosive rockets, which necessitates rockets. And would you look at that, it necessitates green chips as well. How can I do this? Green chips, iron, explosives. Well, there's the explosives, there's the green chips, and there's the iron. Huh. Kind of funny the way these things work out. If that's the case, then I would like you two to deliver to something here. How long does it take to make a rocket? Eight seconds! Are you having a laugh? I want a lot more than you can do in that time, but I guess, I guess beggars and choosers. Um, that's not a very f funny amount of time. How fast can you make explosives? Extremely quickly. Oh well, 
And the thing is, I need even more explosives, don't I? Alright, how about this then? You guys are going to come out like so. And then... I, I, I'm loath to take away from you, because you're my... You're my blue chip greens. How else can I bring greens down here? Another thought is don't even bother bringing greens down here. Maybe have them as end of the line. Gets. No, this just feels like such a cozy place to produce these weapons of mass destruction. Alright then, here's how we'll do it. You will go onto this belt. I will have... You here. You're going to make me, of course, my rockets. It's one-to-one -one rocket explosive rocket, right? Yes, yes it is. So let's just keep things nice and simple. You take that, I take you, I put you here. You are also going to gobble up these circuits. This is all with Spider-Tron in mind, and uh, I love doing things with Spider-Tron in mind. Oh, helps if you think about... Mm, mistakes have been made here, again. Uh, I need this on the other side. Yeah, that's what I need. Which is more, I actually need you to output like that, necessitating this big guy. Alright, I think this will work. There we go. So you're going to make me these rockets using the explosives, the iron, and the chips. You're going to put it out on this side, which you've already done, and you are going to make me explosive rockets. Agonizingly slowly, I might add. But at least it's only one rocket plus even more explosives. And as I said, explosives are made two at a time at four speed. So that's one every two seconds. You eat one two, one every four seconds, and two, and two. So every eight, every eight seconds you eat one, two, three, four, five, six, so explosives are produced faster than they're needed. And you guys are going to output your little toys for me. Err... Uh... Whoa, why are you running so slow? What in the world has happened to my electricity? Oof. Okay. Well, since I already got Solaris, I'm going to bring my boilers back online. There we go. Well, no, there we don't go. I didn't link those up properly. There we go. And the extra pollution is no big deal. But it's nice to have the, uh, the ability to have these things work. However... Hmm. What happened to the emergency power switch? I didn't build it. I was planning on building it, and perhaps I should. Do I have a spare accumulator? Can I make a spare accumulator? There we go. I'll just do this the cheapo way. Also need a little bit of wire and the power switch itself. It's nice being able to just build stuff whenever you need it. it teaches all sorts of bad habits, of course. So, 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 where's our kill switch going to be? I think it'll be right here. It's no big deal. I also need a little bit of copper wire. Do I have any? It's kind of hard to tell at a glance if I have any. No, so I'll just make a wee bit. So, although there are fancy ways of doing this, let's not do it fancy. Let's just do it like this. 
copper cable, there you are, go there, you go there, and conditional wiring here to here, you will be enabled if, and you should be putting out your signal A, if A is less than 10, 20. If A is less than 20, then operate. And it should be fine. Are we actually getting that signal? Hmm. One can only assume. All right, so we got the we got the easy 300 research done. How about the 2,500 research, which also needs black science and yellow science? That'll be a little less easy to come by. It may take a bit of time, but once you have Spider-Tron, even just one of them, uh, the game's afoot. The biters still continue to try and fail miserably at breaking into the base. Oh yeah, I said the base would be fine, hands off for Aeons, but I didn't take into account the fact that we have not yet met the Behemoth Biter. We're still a ways away from it. The evolution factor slows down as time goes on, but when it hits 0 0.9, things are going to get a little crazy in that regard. Good to see my greens backing up. Holy moly, my greens are backing up. Now I'm starting to wonder why they're not coming out of here as fast as they could be. But I don't think there's any real issue. The green machines are getting all of the copper cable and all of the iron plates they could ever need. I could have sworn I was producing more than a red belt of these prior. But out they go. We can even see wee gaps here and there. And even my buffers are chewing on a few of them here and there. You love to see it. Uh, probably a bad idea not to have at least a few of those on hand. Mm mm mm. I love it. I love it even more if I had some personal batteries on me. How many personal battery? Oh, I don't have a lot of those. I think ten of those. Grab a little smidgen of you, and then I'll be able to make my own my own personal battery mark too. So these guys are one of my main problems, and they're a problem because of lack of stone bricks. That is an issue. That is an issue that somewhat necessitates expanding my smelter array, but that's hard to do if I don't have electric furnaces. And I need electric furnaces to expand the smelter array, and I also need them for the tech. So, what is a poor man to do? Well, what he can do is just dick dastardly style grab all of the bricks and stone for himself and just make his own personal load of these <laughs> that wasn't enough but whatever um i'm also out of assembly machines which is a terrible thing to say so that ooh, these things are full of stuff as well that's also not good all right, well, solve our problems the old-fashioned way. Also, I didn't fix my steel issue, so the steel is going to run out. I really need to set up my steel, and I need that steel for setting these up as well. Oh, crikey, I need a lot of things. Okay, well, never mind. Um, just ditch a lot of your rubbish for now, and then grab what is necessary for this next step. So, for one, let's empty all of you out, and then shove your garbage over here as well. Now I need a bunch of regular assemblers, iron plates, electronic circuits, yeah we're fine in that regard, so just give me like half of that, oh that was a bit much, give me like half of that, and uh, half of that. How's the long haul going? Oh it's going, as you can see we're 8% towards Spidertron, that's got to be a good place to be right? There we go. You'll make me assembly machine mark ones nice and quickly. And this is a big part of why I need a mall. And once you're done, I'm going to need more steel. Boy, man, working working my way through my steel reserves is probably going to end up being one of my worst ideas right now. 
Right, so now I need to replace these brilliant ideas with these. Get to work, get to work. Boy, I look forward to having them all. <laughs> I have a plan for them all. It's going to be a fairly disgusting plan, but as with most things, I need all my other smelters and stuff set up for it. Right, you guys all done? Got anything left on you? You do not, and that leaves me with a delicious 80-something of you. Also, I could have just used these ones, couldn't I? Yeah, I could. Anyway, I need electric furnaces on double. Um, or something like that. Yeah, that's all well and good, but you also need reds and bricks. Bricks being the problem. Logistically, I actually have a ton of bricks in storage. Wow! Thank you, past Jake, for once you didn't screw me over. Can't believe what I'm seeing, or saying. Right, well then, I guess you can have that steel back. You can have most of these sprockets back. Yeah, you can have all these sprockets back. And even the iron can have the iron back. Some of these are just getting overly full of my junk. Uh, right, where are those bricks at then? They're going to be hiding here somewhere. I'd say here partially. And here. And I know there's a lot more bricks than that. Where are they hiding? Do your elf eyes see anything? they got to be in one of these, right? I was promised 4,000 bricks in storage. Where are they hiding? I'll screw it for now. In you go. 3.1k on the right. Really? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go, go. That's nice. Now the reds. Good thing I buffered those reds and absolutely didn't shove them into production modules. Red buffer, how are you feeling? Not good. Alright, just give me what you can. I need to set up some proper smelting. Hmm, this is actually pretty bad. They only need five each, so I've got, I've got enough for making about 80 or so of them, and I don't need that many. Even so. Even so. This is, this is a barbaric way to do it. How about we just do it the old-fashioned way? That's really like I'm making rocket control units again. I just hold Z and do this. Let God sort them out. There we go, that's 41. It's a good start. Well, it's a start. Not so sure about good. Why have I got all of you? I don't need you anymore. I found my bricks. Just turn you all into meaningless uh, landfill. I think you need a fair, bit, fair amount of these, don't you? There you go. That'll make you all feel better. You may or may not be a little shy on steel as well. Oh, that's a nice thing. I also made my personal mega battery, or I was about to. There we go. Oh, oh boy. Mistakes were made. <laughs> uh, mistakes in lacking reds, no less. There you go. Take all that off me. The approach certainly makes some people sick, I'm sure. Just build them all. I know I want them all, but I need to solve some problems first. Problems caused by my lack of mall, no doubt. There we go, take those, shove them in there, give you the rest of the other stuff, and there we go, go. A healthy amount of 50... oh, 105, good. That's much better. 50-something would leave me feeling a little uneasy. Right, how are we setting this up? Hopefully with a lot of efficiency modules. I'm not seeing them right now. 
That should be about right. A for aces. All right, 24 of you. And one of the nice things is you don't need nearly as much space between everything. Although there is an idea that says input and output between them. Hmm. Wait, I had these sitting around in storage as well. Well, that's good to know. Um, how was it off by one? I'm trying to think how to set this up because I can have a line of just the ore coming out here and then them ex uh, expunging it on the side. But there's also something that says have the two lines go down the middle and have them put it on the inside here. And I tend to like that a bit more because I don't like it when they go onto the outside and have to merge on the other side. So since I haven't done it before, I'll do it that way. Bots, undo your job there, and instead, one, two, three, four, don't. But it does need to be red belts now, and that's part of the problem. At least red belts half the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then for the other one, it has to be red belts for the other half. Confusing? Yeah, I don't blame you. Um... And that means long-handed inserters are needed, which is often a bit of a pain. The ore one is going to be this one, so the inputs go like so. It's okay, I only need to do this once, and I can just copy and paste it. And regular inserters, not long-handed, but at least regulars are something that are in the logistics network, just normally. And then you're going to output it like so. There's no need to even do it on all of these. What I can just do is uh, copy pasta like so. Dunk, oops, not like that. Dunk, 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 dunk. And I can't flip it like that because it doesn't work that way. I would need to flip the inserters. You see, you're meant to insert down there. Uh, wait, am I thinking that right? No, you're meant to take from there and insert like that. I'm going to grab you. I'm going to make you snap to grid on a relative basis. And then... Oh, yeah, this is the most fun way of placing blueprints in my mind. That way you don't need to stop and pause and think about what you're doing. There's one thing I don't like doing. It's thinking about what I'm doing. Um, even so, I'm still going to use incredibly crappy... Uh, yeah, incredibly crappy, these things. And again... Uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I want to grab this. No, I want to grab this. You need to hold shift. That's missing some of it. Um, there we go. I'm going to do the same thing. Snap to grid, relative. There you go. Except trim off the edge. And I would be very surprised if there's actually enough small power poles for all this. There's not a ton of them, so it's high time that I actually go and deal with that a wee touch. So how about we make ourselves a fat lot of... Hang on, do I have cable here? Copper cable, 546 of it. Well, I can finally get rid of it. When is Jake making his mall? Soon, I swear. I will get that mall someday. Probably going to be quite disgusting mall. There we go. Let's just grab all of that. Thank you, please. Oh, uh, yeah. Bring me a bit more then, why don't you? Uh, I want some wood as well. Just drowning in crap here. And my, my logistic bots are not numerous enough or fast enough for me to be comfortable telling them to just grab all my goods off of me. But let's just clean ourselves up a bit. There's a lot of stuff that I don't need. Uh, who needs those batteries or explosives? Actually, I need those explosives. I need those for making more cliff explosives, which necessitate a touch more steel. Come to me, Matthew. Ah, there's my wood. Excellent. Make cliff explosives. Set these up for wooden poles. Everyone that can take it. Grab more of that wood, wherever it was.
and then suddenly realise that if I want to make these with copper cable, I need a lot more copper cable than that. God, we're right back to the very start of it all, aren't we? Hand making copper cable in these things, but nobody in their right mind would buffer copper cable in their uh, logistics network, would they? That would be sheer madness. There you go, get to work on that whilst I enjoy putting in my personal battery. There you go, not bad. Shove these in as just in cases. Mm -mm. Look at all that copper cable coming in. And then while they do that, I just make sure that my bots have access to all these small electric poles. I don't know what a mall is, so I can't wait to see what the hype is about. Please, no spoiler. Try not to spoil that. We'll make that mall. It's very important. Right, nice thing about this is I think I can just lay them side by side. However, there's something very important missing from these. And using my super speedy legs. I mean, look at the rate this guy's going. Makes me want exoskeletons in real life. They must exist in real life, but I wonder how useful they'd really be. Could I use them for DDR? Well, that is a sad low number of these. I can't believe my reds are going so pitifully. It's just that they're... I need, like, three times this production of reds for my many needs in the factory. Alright, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Give me that. Ah, yes, you guys. So... Electric furnaces versus steel furnaces. Electric furnaces are bigger and much more expensive. They also consume twice as much power. The consumption of this is 90 kilowatts. The consumption of this is 186 kilowatts. The difference is that this gets its power from coal. This gets its power from the electric grid, hence electric furnace. And the thing about that is that while coal or wood or... Uh, solid fuel. You could even put nuclear fuel in your furnaces if you wanted to. The point is there's only so much scaling you can do with direct fed in burnable fuel like that. However, there's a lot that can be done with the electrical grid, which means that you could power your electric furnaces with solar, which is certainly what we plan to do here, which means that the power generated for this is clean as opposed to, uh, as opposed to what's being burnt here. They still produce pollution though, one per minute, but these things produce four per minute. But the big trick is that these accept two modules, and if you stick in two efficiency modules, all of a sudden this thing only produces 0.4 pollution per minute, and its consumption of power is now lower than the steel furnace. So you're paying a big upfront cost here. The expensive uh, furnace itself, the expensive modules for them, the space that they need, but that, these things are going to purr. Of course, they are going to put more stress on my electric grid, which, as we've seen, already faces issues. Those poor accumulators of mine are under a lot of stress. The fact that solar panels have to work very hard through the day, for most of the day, tells me that I need considerably more solar panels. I don't really want to chew away my glorious forest, and I don't want don't have a lot of other space for it, but I could set up an additional solar farm over there. Something worth considering, however, ooh, we can actually see it in action, can't we? The switch I set up. This poor accumulator, once it drops down to, what was it, 20% of its power? This power switch should turn on, although... It's look at ah, Okay, there we go, there we go. Now you have activated, and now we're going to draw upon the boilers to help out with the power through the night. And that's going to stop us from having a blackout. Only barely, though. Only barely. Basically, I need to up my power. And the mall needs are probably going to drive some of that. Have you done your job? Mm, kind of. That should be enough small electric poles to keep me going for a good wee while, though. Right, problem is, this is one load of these, and I want a lot more than one load of these. Err, uh, hmm. These are already doing all their copper. 
But if I've got my two copper and my two iron there, then what's this going to be? In a sense, it's going to be stone and steel. Mm -hmm -hmm. Steel is the pressing issue to have right now, although I do also need stones. Uh, however, I need to multiply you. So this is all well and good, but here is a another. I was thinking about doing the steel one. I could I could do it in a different way, couldn't I? But I won't. I'll stick to that. You probably lack a few items, not least of all the electric furnaces themselves. But that's easy because I can just say here, take pretty much all of mine. In fact, do take all of mine. I don't need them. You probably want some efficiency modules as well. Take half a, or pretty much all of that too. We have to go nuclear, it's the only way to be sure. Uh, I'm not convinced I want to go nuclear in this run. Oh, oh, they're actually attacking over in that direction, that's weird. Was that an expansion party or are they actually... Uh, I see you drink a little trickle of pollution over there. Not seeing any indication of there having been any fighting over here, even though I haven't finished putting the, the efficiency modules there. Right, 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 right. Should I get my bricks? Yeah, let's get bricks going first. A weird thing to do first, but I want them. Oh, shouldn't be building things myself. Remember, I've got an achievement to get here. go. That'll bring the stones over to form one red belt, which will be absorbed and smelted. Although now that I think about it, you need twice as many stones for bricks, don't you? So the ratio here probably isn't going to work very well. As in, it's only going to put out a yellow belt of bricks rather than a red belt. Eh, whatever. They've got what they've got. Iron's going to come up and become steel, but I'm just wondering if there's a better way to do steel. Yeah, there are absolutely no nuclear-related uh, achievements. I know it's sad. I think I might reverse this, actually. See, the iron ore will come along here, but I'm going to spit the iron out this way. and then have that iron feed up with another batch of iron feeding up into a super steel smelter. And I should get on that soon because my steel is going to run out. That means you go here, and that means I want this one done by the book. Right here. There are other ways I could do it, but this way is a bit more flexible, in my opinion. Right. Now, why don't you guys get to work over there? And you see the flashing uh, yellow thing at the bottom indicating that I do not have enough resources for what I am demanding my bots to do. They can't access it. All they do is bleeding moan. I can relate. It's going to be a problem because I, I can't actually feed this as much as I want. Jake, the belts are the wrong way. Which belts? These ones? Yeah, they look about right. I'm sure we'll notice if any belts are going the wrong way pretty soon. Anyway, what are you lacking? 
electric furnaces, fast belts, long inserters. All these things can be sorted. For one, I can just give you a bunch of long-handed inserters, although I will want some more for myself. So I'll have to continue to make a, a bunch of those, so don't mind me as I am my way into the copper supplies. I love using small crappy poles. They're just so much cheaper than uh, than medium poles, but I guess you pay in other ways. Ah, I see. I see what you mean by wrong way around now. Easily fixed. And not by me. By my bombs. By my bombs. Yeah, if anything, it means that uh, I need yet another line of glorious electric furnaces, which again, I'm struggling on. They need steel. The bigger thing is they need those bleeding red chips. And as we've seen, the red chip production is faltering. Oh yeah, I haven't had Death Road to Canada in ages, but I don't have any particular desire to be playing the game either. Played that game half to death. I beat Kepa mode. What more could anyone reasonably ask of me? Yeah, beating Kepa mode was no small undertaking. Uh, so what I'm saying is I could just bring you up like so and straight into here. And then there's your... There's your iron that you turn into steel, and then the steel, which honestly does not need a red belt here, can just come down where steel used to be. Where does steel used to be? Here, you say. Hmm. Well, I need that steel rolling, so let's get what little we can out there. Can one red belt of iron feed the furnaces? Don't know what you mean. One red belt of iron will not satisfy a steel load of furnaces, but that's, uh, that's because the ratio of iron to steel is 5 to 1. Five iron plates are needed to make one steel plate. And that can be a bit of a problem, given this. Which means I will need another load of uh, a load of all this. Is this going the wrong way around? No, no, it's not. Of course it's not. Bots, go and build these things for me. Right, so if I get them those, they should be good to go. They'll need the bricks, the steel, and god forbid the reds as well. Something getting broken. That actually seems like a popular joint for them to go and attack. Uh, I think I have these in a logistic box, right? Yes, yes I do. This means I can even task my bots with fixing this. There you go. Yummy. God, I just, just love having these bots do all my work for me. It's like the natural order of things. Okay, there we go. Might be overkill, but who could possibly need this many electric, uh, or rather small electric poles? The mind boggles. Ah. I feel like feeding two red belts into one red belt will bottleneck it either way for the steel. Uh, there's not much point feeding two red belts into it. I'm only feeding one. The other one will feed another separate steel smelter setup that I have. Uh, these ones are all designed to go up and feed steel, but that's okay. The whole point of this area was for steel. The bricks, however, those are a different story. I think the bricks really are just a yellow belt story, and I'm not convinced I'll need more than a yellow belt either. So let's actually bring those out, and then let's consider where are they actually going. 
Where's my brick? Okay, here's my brick line. What is this? Oh my god, what is this? You get away. You get away. And I might use you to connect up to the bricks. That way I can get rid of this abortion. In fact, I can get rid of it right now. Away all of you goes. You get replaced with just a, a normal thing there. Nice thing is that this is a job that regular constructor bots do. No need for logistics here. Alt D, shortcut for destroying things. Easily forgotten, especially by me. Right, this was the home of the bricks. Da -da 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 -da. And there we go. <laughs> We're catching up on you're doing it right. Eventually I will properly be doing things right. One could hope. Still too much of a penny pinch to be um, to be using undergrounds when I don't need to. Come on, you're almost done, lads. Just throw that down. Bricks and reds, and we have our smelting things sorted. However, it is going to burn a bit on the... Oh, good lord, look at the amount of power I'm using. It's lots. The solar panels work all day and they still can't meet demand. That's bad news. It's a good sign that I really need to up my solar game. But dare I destroy this forest that has done so much for me? I'm about to become a lot more green-minded after all. Where else could I set up solar arrays? I guess I could do it over here. Wouldn't cause anybody too much of a bother. Uh, let's see if I can just grab one of these designs. Not grabbing them on both sides? I guess so. But it's too big for here. <laughs> oh man. How about down here? There we go. It's not treading on anyone's toes now, is it? It's got a got a few too many. Just notice it's got a it's got a few too many um Power poles, small power poles, what's up with that? Got some superfluous parts here. And here. Don't don't delete that beloved tree. And here. And here. It's very beautiful for me. Which means you're doing the same. I like the way it zooms in right where your cursor is. Remember in the EU3 days? When zoom was independent of where your mouse cursor was? Oh, that was grim. Crusader Kings 2 came along and showed us how it's done right. It's going to be a lot of solar to get those 20 million circuits done. Yeah, I will probably eventually have to crack and go for... Um, go for nuclear. Alright, that seems a lot more sensibly sized. So, so, so. I guess I'll just slam you down. Get our glorious solar done. I need to come out in this direction anyway, so this is no big deal. There were some missing efficiency modules after all. Is that gonna, is that gonna fit the way I want it to? Probably gonna be some superfluous bits of uh, solar paneling there. Anyway, there are no bots to take care of this for me. Oh, bye, forest. I'm sorry. But the needs of the many must outweigh whatever your needs are. We can do that other one. And we can go and get this one built. That is not enough uh, <laughs> solar panels. <laughs> uh, not for the needs that we have. Okay, well, never mind that. Let's go and get them built. Oh, but I need to finish these off as well. Tell you what, since since we're having issues here, how about we 
just get rid of this. If A is ever less than a hundred, keep this thing on. Because at this rate, I think I need you to keep those accumulators going. I don't want to remember EU3. All the time spent playing EU3, all those happy fun times. I had happy fun times with EU3. Right. I need reds. Quite a lot of reds to fuel the furnaces. And not too many, come to think of it. There are only five needed each, and I don't need a ton of them. I'll just grab what I can here. Nobody needs that plastic. That gets out of here. I mean, all those poles. The world needs more small electric poles. Recht. And where are all those bricks I left behind? God, I've done so much inefficient stuff today. I didn't think I'd be this bad at uh, upgrading my everything. But on the plus side, I'm 44% of the way towards Spider-Tron. So as long as our reds keep very, very slowly... Uh, how are we doing? That is way too many blues, right? For one, no one needs to buffer that many blues. Not at this stage in the game. Secondly, output priority towards science. I don't know which science is suffering the most... Item ingredient shortage. Which specific ingredient? Definitely blue chips. Okay, but that's pretty much doubling the amount of blue chips that are flowing there. It might even back up. Yeah, and hell might freeze over. Ooh, well, this is quite interesting. So the uh, pollution is now spreading so much, probably because of the mines here, that we are tickling the biters in that direction, and we'll need to consider defenses over here. Fortunately, I have what's needed for that. And I would like a bit more of what's needed for that. Also, I never buffered my flying robot frames, did I? I should. I really should. I don't need so many of them, but... I want to have them available within the uh, log net. I don't need a ton of them. They stack to 50, right? So, yeah, just make me whatever you can. Overproduction is good production. I just want to be able to come back and make a whole load of bots. I'm certainly going to need a lot for my glorious plans later on. I also think I said I wanted more long-handed inserters. So that's going to be sprockets. Regular inserters and iron plates. And if I had a mall, I wouldn't have to worry about these things. Oh, that poor guy who doesn't know what a mall is. Maybe some fast inserters while I'm at it. What did I even put in the title here? Expansion, automation, and eradication. This was nowhere near the expansion that I wanted to do, and I don't think anyone's going to say this is automation. It's alright though, we'll get it sorted. The eternal promise. There we go. Full stack of small electric poles. And I will continue to be using small electric poles for a while, I'm sure. I have some big ones as well, just in case I need them. And there are the electric furnaces needed for my expansion. Kabang. And just like that, they have all of what they need for this. And now steel will flow. Admittedly, not very quickly, especially since I need a lot of steel for my... Um, my purple science. Let's get you folks turned around and let's make sure the output priority is for... There we go. Is for the bus. And let's uh, also see if we can't actually remember what we're doing every now and then. It is wood off of me. Thank you, Logista Bots. I'll take most of those off of me. Now, long inserters, donk, and donk, and donk. And I'm still at this stage where I don't use probably as many fast inserters as I should. I use more iron plates than I thought. And what else did they need? wasn't sprockets, it was circuits. 
quick visit to the old dilapidated circuit city over here. Just like that, all oh, over you. Right, a few more bits of steel. Actually, I'm not really in a position to be uh, digging out a lot more steel, but I kept some backups here, of course. And how about the bricks? Nope. No, 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 no. I think I undid something else. I hit Control Z one too many times, and I don't know what I built that I uh, that I just undid. But there's no redo button. Deconstruction of fast inserter. What fast inserter did I even put down? What was the last thing I built? Solar. Yeah, solar plants still seem to be there. The steel belt seems even less likely, considering I put that down a few... Ah, I'm sure it's not important. If it is important, then the problems will surely manifest at a later date. I'll tell you what, I can get rid of some of these. It's not necessary. Uh, coal shouldn't struggle for a wee while yet, at least. You're done, you're done, you're done. You're backing up. Um, input priority is still on you. Stones only really get consumed by rails, and your problem is, as usual, lack of red chips. Yeah, it's purple that's keeping Spider-Tron really slow, and again, it's due to lack of reds. And again, lack of reds is... oh, hang on. Plastics? Out of coal? Did I cut you off, or are we just that low on coal? We are just that low on coal? Wow. Phenomenal. And unusual. Plastics hamstrung by lack of coal. To think we'd see the day. It's alright though, it's easily solved. If there are any holes in the coal production, it's a problem I can solve. Because I've got all this buffered coal that I have no idea what to do with. I think it was some there. Let's take our car and pick up all these coal things that I've got no better use for. The steel line is cut. Is that what the un uh, undo line did? Yeah, that's right. This, this was it. I accidentally undid that. Well spotted, though. So if there are ever any shortages of coal on the main bus. These guys are here to solve it. There we go. A temporary solution. What I should really do is go over and mine this other coal belt. Very handy one right there. But I would really like to get around to... Um, to putting down that extra solar array and fixing some of the lacking efficiency modules in my other stone mine. So let's grab all barely any of these, grab the rest of my junk and head on over there. Spider-Tron, I'll be with you someday. You can see the copper moving the way it is, but more greens needed, more reds needed. I need to essentially double up both of them. But once I do that, all the science should be able to tick away at its regular rate. Just wondering what can be done about... What can be done to aid that? How much copper is actually being consumed, anyway? Because these belts are going full pelt, so that's one red belt going. 
If I consume another red belt of copper, there'll be nothing left for anyone else, so I really just need half of this more. Not all the coal miners have modules. That's so. Oh yeah, some of them don't. Also, some of them ain't working. Hm, to think I just reinforced that area. It is a popular hotspot for biters to go and attack, and I can see why there's an expansion nest right next to the wall, so those guys are constantly drinking up my... Uh, my pollution means I'm going to look forward to eradicating them with Spidertron, who is halfway towards being done. I lost my train of thought there, but that's nothing new. Just give me my goods back. Mm -hmm. That should be fine, except I need a whole lot of... My solar panels. Where's my tank? There's my tank. Let's go on a peace mission, building loads of solar panels. That'll necessitate a whole lot more of these. In fact, I'll take as many as I can and leave a bunch of them inside the tank. At least until I have Spidertron. Oh, I'm looking forward to Spidertron. It's not just that Spidertron is great, and it is great. It's also a lot of fun because you can module it up to your heart's desire. Also, this could be cause for concern. I'm almost out of fuel for the... Um, for the tank. And I think that was the last of my rocket fuel. And I don't make more rocket fuel. Also, I'm low on coal, which is my other way of fueling the thing. There are a few more bits of rocket fuel for you. And I will go and get those, but I will need to consider that down the line. It could be that the clever thing to do is to remake rocket fuel. I mean, hell, it's hardly the worst thing in the world to be making. I will need it eventually, after all. And then you just go and shove it into these boxes. I'll end up with a fat stack of the stuff. Uh, we should make it efficiently while we're at it. Come on, who's going to be making this? Also, you need to make me some fuel... That's going to cut into your cracking, I think. But look at this, I already have way too much oil. So it's hardly a problem. Anyone going to build that? What do you mean I'm short one of these? Unthinkable. Alright, well, if ever there was too much cracking. We're not backing up on any of the oils. We have a ton of sulfuric, uh, sulfuric acid, petroleum. I call that stuff uh, the wrong thing so often. It is petroleum, and I keep calling it sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is uh, this stuff, which we use for batteries. Which now that I... Oh god, I never set an output for you. I was thinking about it and I didn't do it. Whoops. Uh, for now, I don't have red, so I'll just shove you in storage chests. Actually, I don't need to do that. I have the technology. All that time could be making my explosive rockets for Spidertron, and I wasn't. Unthinkable. There we go. No point limiting this. I want as many of those as I can make. Looking hardcore out there. I really need to clean up the biter problem out there. They are trying to attack here, but it looks like the... Oh, it's not infallible out there. Especially when there's big biter on the prowl. Kind of scary in its own way. Love seeing all those ores come in, though. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, during the progress of this, I think I've made 100,000 green circuits. <laughs> We're well on the way to the 20 million we need to make. It's alright. Spidertron is my Steiner. He will solve all of my problems. Some of these belts aren't completely saturated, but that's far from my problem. I haven't balanced the belts, which could also prove a problem, but it's okay. At the end, these all these all deal with the copper lines just fine and dandy. That's a fairly compressed looking red belt. 
and the other one is completely compressed, no questions asked. We'll need to consider the power at some point. Right, am I going to build these things or what? I need solar panels and I need my tank. My tank is full, so let's empty ourselves a little bit to make sure we can grab those solar panels. I don't need all this steel. And God knows about the rest of this stuff. I would like to automate making laser turrets because I will want those as part of my key defense plan at some point. It would be very easy to automate, except those also need green circuits, which, as we can tell, everybody wants green circuits. Although it's kind of good to see the green circuits making their way down here. What else do they need? Is it steel or iron for a laser turret? It is steel. The steel is somewhat backing up, maybe? So that's not too bad. Just wondering if I can reasonably bring the steel down here. No, but maybe I could unreasonably bring it down here. Not keen on that idea though. Now let's let's go and expand our power production to the glorious power of the sun. How many do I need? Five hundred and sixty. Well, that's 500 and 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 60. And plenty of small electric poles as well. All right, groovy. Let's go. Let's efficiency it up. I could offset some of my coal reliance by using light fuel. Uh, What's it called? Solid fuel out of light oil. But... I don't make a ton of it. Although it is quite a lot more energy dense than coal. Uh, fuel value 12 millijoules per unit of it, as opposed to the... I think 4 millijoules of coal. I don't even need all these... Uh, all these belts, but let's get going anyway. Let's also make sure that I am more than willing to deal with anything that we run into. So goodbye exoskeleton, hello kill lasers. The reason I don't tend to take out my personal roboports is because the moment you take them out and put them back in, even if it's just for a moment, they need to recharge, and those things are power hungry. It's nice to know that even if Big Biter, hell, even if Behemoth Biter got into my base right now, I can defend it. I need my physical presence there, but my personal laser defense can kill pretty much anything, unless there's a butt-ton of them. Case in point, zappity-zap, away they go. Nothing to be gained by fighting them. The flamers can take care of those much more efficiently than I can. You know what, you are causing more problems than you solve, but this is clearly an attack point, so I don't want to get rid of you. <laughs> Alright, you know what I can do? I can get rid of you, and I can replace you and you, and then at least I have... Is that still not enough? There we go. There we go. That can be difficult to squeak our way by. There you go, get to work, my pretties. Heaven help me, I'm not physically doing any of this. This uh, green square here is the range of my ro personal roboports. My little robots can do anything within that area, but nothing outside of it. Oh hey, there we go, get to see our lasers at work. And they do take a wee splash of damage. Hmm concerning. So I automated defenses are so good, but what I really plan to do is just kill all the threats around here so that there's nobody that my pollution touches. So the lasers are going to have to hold out until then. 
I think I can charge 10 robots at a time. Wait, I didn't, I didn't get rid of these? Oh boy. I thought I shift clicked those things, but maybe not. I didn't want to spare the trees. <laughs> BS Doctor Who, wanting the combat with the biters. I am sorely disappointed with this one, I'm sure. And there we go, just marginally up the amount of power that can be produced by our solar panels. Power production can reach 96 megawatts. That's like two, um, two or so nuclear reactors. As long as there's no efficiency bonus, and there damn well better be. Already wishing I'd brought over more solar. Come to think of it, why... We were even told that there was a demand for more solar panels. Is it these ones that we've missed, or... Can I fill in these gaps? Because I've got a reasonable number of these things. Why did they not all go down? Let's just shove them in and see what happens. To hell with these lovely pollution absorbing trees. I need power right now. Sorry, Bob Ross, but in my eyes, all these trees are future power poles. He tells us not to look at them like that. Some of these are already done for. Is that right? That lets me spare a few efficiency modules for the other ones. Ah, there we go. I'll oh, see that one's out as well. And that should perfectly enable all of these. Wonderful. So stone keeps getting mined. They're all as clean as clean can be. And it looks like there was no problem with my very scant laser defense, keeping everything defended. Lovely. <laughs> bah, no disappointment whatsoever. I hope you wouldn't be disappointed in my performance, that's for sure. Alright, come on, legs. Get me to my destination faster. Mm, do I have repair packs around here? I've got a robot port. I think... You're pretty hard to position in a way that I like. Thanks to all these working mines. I don't really worry so much about the wall, but I still should keep the wall in good nick. I'm going to place you here. I am going to give you a storage chest. That storage chest is going to have all of my personal repair packs. And you are going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 robots of your own. You will keep this well defended just in case something bad happens. And something bad could happen. It's better to be safe than losing my outpost. Also, you're done. And you're done. And quite a few of you are done. Come on. Give me those efficiency modules. I can always shove them somewhere else. Might be some other ones that are done, but it went over my head. I know some veterans who had to clear minefields, and they're definitely not fans. Oh, fan of minefields. Frankly, that cannot be fun work. Um, I have never played with mines, is the sad truth. I really should, but I have not. Also, if I'm heading out there, no time for legs, every time for personal laser defense. 56% of the way towards spider troll. Spidertron's the next big thing, after all. But maybe while I wait for that, I could automate my lasers. God, just look at how good personal laser defense is. It just tears through them. You don't even need to think. You just need to be near them. No medium pressure. No medium biter pressure with them fast approaching. No need to get on track like a pro. God, it's, it's kind of wonderful in its own way. However, I'm starting to wonder if plastics really is the problem for my uh, my reds. It isn't, but I feel like it's about to be if I'm not careful. 
Uh, the main problem is just production speed on those poor buggers, and the fact that everything eats reds. This production needs to be doubled. A slight problem that I've done to myself is not giving myself any real space to do so, but I think I still could. Struggling to see a reason why I couldn't. Let's grab this setup, the whole dang thing, and just stamp it down over here. Preferably at the same uh, altitude. Bump. Park the tank back over. I will need to expand that uh, that coal mine. It's just insufficient right now. Okay, the bots are already getting hard at work to uh, to build what I set down there. However, they lack assembly machines. Lacking assembly machines, but I made a bunch of assembly machines. I guess I just didn't give you access to them all. There you go. Yeah, they need plastic too, so I probably need to expand the plastic production, but that is very, very easy to do. See this? Let's have more of it. Uh, I made mistakes with that, but that's okay. Slight problem is that I don't have any chemical plants. I really can't say that without thinking about umbrella. Ooh, nice to see the walls looking good. I see no point, and I see no point in limiting that. What do I need for chemical plants? Nothing that I don't already have. That's gonna make plenty of them. Yeah, I really got to expand that coal. Look at this, another one bites the dust. And another one down, and another one down, and another one bites the dust. Those poor buggers. There's all this coal to be had. Hmm. wonder if part of the problem is that these guys are actually working pretty, pretty hard, day and night. That's consuming a fair bit of my power. Alright, you need these chemical plants, just take them. There's no skin off my nose. I still have a decent number of miners, I just don't have a decent number of efficiency modules. Always so much to do. But that's kind of the appeal of running this factory, just constantly scratches that itch of, ooh, I could do this better, and I could do that better, and this and that, and this and that, and then before you know it, you've burned the whole day. I'm trying to think, what time is it now? Oh, almost the whole day is gone. Right, how do you work again? I need copper coming up the middle of you. And looking at this, I have neglected my second copper line. This isn't how we do things. One's meant to be the copper line. Ah, I see. I see it all now. Right. You're meant to be here. You are meant to be there. And you are meant to be like that. There you go. You're meant to come down here, and you were meant to do much and such the same, but I can sort you out like so. What are you doing there? What are you doing in general? What is this meant to be? I think this is from when I had only a single copper line. It's my best guess. Did I ever only have a single copper line? Well, I must have. Otherwise I wouldn't have this set up now, would I? There we go. I love buses. They just... They help you visualize so much. Or they help me visualize so much. Even though I said I wouldn't need to sort that out like so. There it is, sorted out like so. Oh, 
Yeah, as we can see, it's purples. Purples are holding everything up, and again, due to lack of reds. And a big part of the problem is that they are the very end of the red belt. Everyone else gets their 50% cut off the line before these guys get theirs. Oh, even the red modules are suffering. That's a bad sign. Okay, well, maybe, maybe all of these reds can go first priority over to purples. Just bring them over a different way. I'm making this harder and harder to get. I'm not doing it right. Because I'm going to need to feed you in over here one way or the other. Mm, I can suss that out once you have the goodies that you need. So you're going to come up here. That was completely off. Keep forgetting I can actually make underground belts now. Just if you need them, make them. that sound tells me that I'm right towards the edge of my base now. It's okay, the base will get a proper expansion at some point. Of that we can be sure. That gets you some of what you need, but not all of what you need. It is yet more power consumption though, that's worth keeping in mind. Our power consumption grows higher and higher, especially when I build things that use these... Like, why in God's name would I use productivity modules on copper wires. It is one of, if not the, worst application of uh, productivity modules. I think I just did it for the, for the heck of it, because I was doing everything with prod mods there, but these are so unnecessary. Yeah, we're allowed to handcraft again. After we launched the rocket, a lot of the very restrictive achievements were taken care of. I don't think I've got a single achievement today, have I? Bad sign. Okay, plastics. I have ignored you for a long, long time. Now you're coming with me. You're going to come up here. Glad I made plenty of these splitters. What's the other ingredient needed? It's green chips, right? Why would it not be? Wait, that is off. What was off about that? Because you're meant to be there. And just like that, red chip production has been doubled. The red chips flow up here, along here, up here to there, and down along with you. And then they go where exactly? Difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. Probably going to very spaghetti these red chips in. I marginally regret to say. I dream of a better solution than this. But you know how it is. So, 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 since they have been so poorly seen to. Half of them are going to go over here, and the other half are going over to the behemoth of red chip production, or consumption rather, which is modules. Double check to make sure they're all working. They are not. This is why we double check. Bazzy Joe, clearly the superior engineer to me, was able to immediately ascertain that we were missing copper for this. I really like this setup. Mm -mm -mm. 
I, I generally like anything that stops dead into an underground belt, but not for the purpose of going underground, and that's what's happening here. This underground belt serves to stop the line from going up into this. Now, that could be achieved by doing that as well. That does the same thing, but I feel like this runs a much bigger risk of me accidentally straightening it out, which would make raw copper go where copper wire needs to be. So that just has a nice sense of finality to it. Mmm. God, that's good. And you need two... Well, you need double the, uh, the inserters going out than in, although the rate still seems pretty fast. It's probably because I have... Um, Probably because I have stat inserter bonus, these things go up to two. Now, there is one big upgrade for my factory that I can apply across the whole place, and I haven't been doing so. Is now the time to do it? Maybe. Maybe. But I'm limited in how much I can do it by. Oh god, I haven't researched it. Ooh, well, there's my mistake right there. I want... You, Automation 3. But Spider-Tron is a higher priority, so Automation 3 will be done after Spider-Tron. Well, while Spider-Tron comes along, and now that I've solved some of my red chip problem, in fact, perhaps even not all of my red chip problem, look at these guys flow. Uh, in fact, while we're at it, could we make sure that any excess of these gets shoved into the log net unceremoniously? Output priority is for science. And I shouldn't need more than 100, 200, 300 of these at any one time. So there you go. Underground terminal also pools from both sides, not just far. Well, how about that? I figured there was something weird about the way they grab from underground belts, because you never see them twitch. And you never have a problem with the regular inserters grabbing from underground belts. Whereas you do see them have a problem with overground red and especially blue belts. But there we go. That is certainly going to eat up any uh, excess green chips. So green chip production can go in earnest. Which it absolutely looks to be doing. Splendid. The smelters are chavin a as I like to say. I didn't get around to upgrading all of these, but I'm sure we will someday. Problem is largely my power. <laughs> my power consumption is a concern. Ah, but these guys seem to be taking it easy. How's the power production going, anyway? So steam engines work throughout the night, and the solar panels are working hard throughout the day. Thanks to the extra steam engine help, the solar panels fill up the accumulators nice and quickly, so the accumulator charge is ready. The accumulators do work through the night, but I'd like to do something about that. I think I'll bring back my... Um, I think I'll bring back this. So again, only work when my accumulators fall down below. I'd say 30%. That gives me a bit of leeway just in case I have a catastrophic power loss through the night. Now I do want to expand on my coal mining operation. Because as we've seen, coal is struggling. The single coal patch that we started with has served us immensely well this whole game. But now it needs to be augmented. The chest you just placed is going to get modules in it. What? Oh, oh yeah, excellent point. I forgot. What did I forget? Well, nothing, because it's not having a problem there. But what we can do is a very rare case of me using a filter inserter. I almost never use these, but this time... We have this filter inserter whitelisted to only electric furnace. So now, if this ever backs up, electric furnaces get shoved over here. And since they're on different lines of this, it's never going to cause a backup, no matter how you cut it. Oh god, now steel is actually becoming a problem. Well, I say problem, and I mean problem. You're not getting enough of it. It's these damn rails. Rails are incredibly steel-hungry, but that's the nature of Factory. There's always another bottleneck to solve. You are never not bottlenecked one way or the other. In this case, it's because I need another array for steel up here. I never doubled it up like I planned to. Look at this, that is a sad amount of steel. That That is a pre-rocket amount of sad steel. So, the obvious thing to do is to plan for more. Gonna grab you... Gonna thunk you down here. 
I'm going to realise that I'm short on a hundred different things. And you're going to go like so. And you're going to come out and join. There we go, just merge the two together like that. And there are all the bots coming along to, to fit it in. They lack efficiency modules, the electric furnaces themselves, and, well, I'll be, they lack long-handed inserters. I can help you out with that, though. Here are the long-handed inserters. Here's some efficiency modules. I need those for my miners, but maybe they're better over there. I think it might actually be better to have efficiency modules on here than on miners. I don't know what's stinkier and producing more. Oh, well, no, the miners are definitely stinkier. No question about that. Mm. Oh, I've got the electric furnaces. Well, there you go, then. And here are some reds for your trouble as well. Ah, they'll get it all sorted, no problem. No harm, no fuss. Noride comes in just to say hi. Well, welcome. So, about that coal that I'm lacking in. Really don't have a lot of efficiency modules to, uh, to knock into those. Those efficiency modules are at the mercy of the reds. Starting to think that I should do more on efficiency moduling than uh, productivity moduling, even though I know people love prod mods. Me, I'm always more of an efficiency module guy. Because, yeah, that's nowhere near enough efficiency moduling. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Hard to think of a way to prioritize it on efficiency modules more than I'm already doing. I could change this all into uh, efficiency modules. Uh, you know what, actually, I could... This is actually backing up on reds, that's amazing. Right, prod mods are a thing of the past. Oh, oh no, I can't do that because the prod mods are needed for science. Eek. What a mistake to make. Yeah, I can't actually let up on that. I'll just have to make do with my trickle feed of these. Ultimately, most of the factory ends up working towards modules in Ultra Late Game Factoria. This game runs on potato. Yeah, this game is extremely well optimized, so yes, it runs on potato. Right, coal continues to be problem. Let us deal with coal problem. Also, you have finally mined out every bit of rock. Now the initial copper mine, the initial uh, iron mine, and the initial stone mine are all tapped out. The only thing that remains are 79,000 units of coal underneath the initial coal mine. With a staggering 14 miners still operating there. The lack of efficiency modules makes me very sad for this, but I think I'll have to do an unmoduled... Oh yeah, a lot of those guys are still unmoduled. Uh, an unmoduled setup for my coal mining. Yeesh. At least, at least we don't use tons of coal. Now that we've augmented to have coal-free uh, smelting, and the fact that solar is taking care of a lot of our power, coal is largely going into my plastics, which don't have power. Of that if we can. Hi Jake, do you plan... how long do you plan on streaming today? Uh, I probably should have stopped about an hour ago, but I think I've got another half hour to an hour in me. I really want Spider-Tron, right? Must have Spider-Tron, must deck out Spider-Tron, and I did say that we would be doing eradication, so the stream won't be over until pretty much every biter inside my pollution cloud dies. Hmm. That's maybe a bit of a lofty thing to promise, but I do want to do it regardless. The thing is, Spidertron is extremely expensive. Once Spidertron's done, everything else is going to be... Uh, is going to run along relatively quickly. On top of that, look at my steel. Mmm, that's a lot better. It might look kind of patchy. I mean, come on, it's just a yellow belt and it's not even saturated. But one bit of steel is equivalent to five bits of iron, so... It's not shabby at all. And hey, there's even little bits of iron inside my 
um, overflow, which is a nice sign. Beautiful, that half hour of Factorio should end in three or four hours roughly. <laughs> I was planning on sleeping in a bit, but I guess more Factorio it is. It won't take long, right? Look at that, Spidertron 77% done. Uh, I'm going to expand this coal mine, which I said I'm going to be doing for ages, but I will really do it now. Did I ever put that fuel inside my tank? Oh god, no, my poor tank. Uh, there's some fuel, although you're about to never be used again, so that's a consideration as well. I'll keep you around as a trophy. Right, grab some efficiency modules, ditch this useless wood, get to work. No coal, no plastic, no plastic, no reds, and as we know, reds are what your entire factory runs on. That is a sad amount of efficiency modules. But I shouldn't need many. Spidertron is small fry for extinction. The real way to go is artillery train and nukes. Artillery trains don't fire nukes. Artillery trains fire artillery shells, which are non-nuclear. Spidertron fires nukes. So uh, I'm uno reversoing you on that one. I don't have my belts for this, but I shouldn't need many belts compared to other things. I don't even need to fully mine out this coal belt. All these poor dead and dying trees, they know what I've come and done, and it's nothing nice. Oh boy, more wood, just what I needed. And I've still got these copper cables on me. Right, uh, you know what? I have 60 modules, I could set up 20 miners and call it a day. This is such a rich belt. But these miners are unlikely to run out anytime soon. Look, even the edge one has 48,000 coal going for it. And I'm quite interested in having this run somewhat efficiently. Do you do... do you connect up? Well, it doesn't really matter. Here's your connection to the grid. Here's your full stack of efficiency modules. And given the fact that you already have productivity plus 20%, which means I get 20% extra for completely free. I think we'll be okay, right? There's not enough space for you here. Let's just do like so. God, I love seeing them at work. Does anybody have a managerial position where they work and get the same kind of kick out of having their subordinates work as they do out of seeing uh, bots work in Factorio? I don't want to sound too much like a psychopath here, but I do think it scratches a similar itchy feeling. You work in a managerial position, you are probably a bit of a psychopath. Right, most of this my own bots can get done. Ah, looks some of them are getting to work already. Good show. Inching our way towards you're doing it right. I said I wouldn't choose that achievement. There's a very, very easy way to choose that achievement. Uh, just build a whole lot of very easy to build things with your construction bots and then just undo it and redo it a few times and you'll have it done. A whole load of pipes or poles or anything you can do on really cheap... Oh yeah, belts as well, which I suppose we're kind of doing here. Well, this stream was just what I needed while putting together my sofas as a calmest gamer. Say what you will about Sweden, Jake. They do make good furniture. They make sufficient furniture. I have a hard time complaining too much about IKEA stuff, but I still think it's overpriced for what it is. Input priorities from my initial mine, the one that I just did, will back it up, because I do want this dealt with so I can use this entire area for my refinery needs. On that note, I do notice that my storage of uh, petroleum is going down. Since I upped my, um, since I upped my plastics, I will eventually need to expand on my six refinery setup. Six refineries kept me good all the way up to the rocket launch and still have me good now, so that's a great sign. What the heck are these? They are steel and battery shy flying robot frames. I do want you. 
I said I wanted my mall, and I wasn't kidding about that. Um, right, what am I wanting to bring over here? And can I? How, in the logistic network, how many electric engines do I have? Quite a lot. And I want those for my Spider-Tron, though in fact, I should I should start massing the things that I need for Spider-Tron. Never mind the robot frames, I don't want to research Spider-Tron and not be able to build her. But at the same time... Find robot frames. Still need steel. It's alright, I had a buffer of steel for probably just this reason. Wait, does Spider-Tron need steel? Spider-Tron needs low-density structures and lots of them. Huh. Okay. Right, much like we did with the silo, let's assemble Spider-Tron into a chest. We only need one, but we will want more than one eventually. So, uh, Spider-Tron does need one fish. There's one fish. Spider-Tron needs 16 RCUs. Don't I have rocket control units already? I do. Where do I have those nestled away? Right here. I think it was 16, right? So there's Spider-Tron's rocket control units. Spider-Tron needs 150 low-density structures. I don't have 160, but I have 145. And I know where I can get the rest. Also, good to see the coal piling on in. Give me all of those. And hey, look at these backing up! Oh god, mistakes were made. They weren't buffering. There you go. Oh, that's right. I was spending my buffer. I remember now. There we go. Now we're buffering you back up. Whew. All that copper I could have been... All that copper and plastic I could have been consuming more of. Anyway, that's 100... 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Hey, we finally got an achievement today. There we go. There's our 100 and... Wait, pop-up. Ooh. Bug report for you, uh, Factorio. Pop-ups on the research queue don't show when you trigger an achievement. Right, 150, not 160. I don't think it was 160. Get out of here. I will want more of those later on anyway, though, for things I want for Spider-Tron. Uh, two efficiency module mark threes, right? Those are obscenely expensive. But we're just going to have to do it. Right, efficiency modules. I think that's... Well, no point thinking about it. Let's just get them. How many of these do I have? 29... I can make two of you straight away. And then I need... Oh, right, crumbs. I need a bit more than two. I need three, four, five of them, which necessitates more regular efficiency modules. Uh, I'm just going to steal those. Because I'm Guy Grip it. And I need processing units. And would you look at that? I got more processing units than you can shake a stick at. There we go. There's five of them in the making. In fact, I can just turn that all off and make that by hand. That's no big deal. Uh, oh, but I don't need one of those. I need two of those. Because they're so obscenely expensive. Which means even more efficiency modules are needed. Where can I peel those out of? What do I not care about having efficiency modules in? Kind of entertaining to see plastics get so rigorously consumed. Curse this need for prod mods. Give me these. I'm sorry to say, but Spider-Tron's needs are all of our needs. It's almost enough. Still need a few more of them, though. Don't know, Jake. I can stick a shake a stick at a lot of stuff. Good for you. Right, tell you what. Let's do this the budget way. Uh, golly gosh, I'm low on reds. And maybe now I don't have a great way to just scoop those up. I sincerely doubt my buffer has any chance to accumulate reds. Four whole reds. Well, sorry, Blue Science. I'm taking your reds. 
And just like that, I should be able to make another efficiency module. Mark three modules are so expensive. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I need to do it again with the greens. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. They get to work making those. Uh, Spidertron rears ever closer. I also need four rocket launchers. Uh, I have the makings for four rocket launchers, and I'm going to make five. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth one needed some sprockets. Just to make sure I carry sprockets on me. Yoink. Five. The fifth one is personal. And this time it's personal. Right, can I make these? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I can. Good. Then, don't. So there's our two efficiency mark threes, which you never use, ever, in your factory. There is no situation in which you ever consider using efficiency module mark three. No matter how convoluted, this module has no use. So they gave it a use by forcing it to be a vital part of making Spidertron. What a damn shame. Two fusion reactors is no big deal. Uh, uh, fusion reactor, fusion reactor. Do you take a while to make? All you need are processing units and LDS. Expensive, sure. It only takes 10 seconds to craft. Cool. So I need another 100 blues and... Uh, I need 200 blues, actually, and 100 low-density structures. Is that 100? Is that 100? Yes, it is. Get out of here. Give me a bunch of these. And there we go. There's two of you. Spidertron also requires four exoskeletons and two radars. The radars are simple. Did I not already have radars? I must have placed them down already. And the exoskeletons are not trivial. Four of them, right? Steel, the processing units, it's the electric engines again. Fortunately, we produce those right here, and I will just steal what I need. 40 eat, right? Oh, that's not going to come cheap. <laughs> In fact, look at them go. I think I can grab more from my, uh, well, I can grab more from elsewhere. One, two, three, four. There we go. Spidertron is in the making. We just need Spidertron to finish researching. And on top of that, I would quite like a Spidertron remote, which requires one more radar, which again are nice and cheap and easy to make. And what was it? A rocket control unit. I've got 16 over there. And one additional here. Huzzah! Okay, I was lurking, but now I have to ask, how did you bring up that logistics UI thing that showed what's in the network? I've never seen that. Very simple, you just press the button L. Not only does it show the networks, you can choose between the networks. I actually have a very uh, tiny network way over in... Oh, you can't see it now, but over in my mining operation over here. That is actually a logistic network with this tiny place. All they have are repair packs to fix up whatever breaks. But yes, press L and you can see that. It's members, the items of each one. Brilliant. I've never played this game, but I was just gifted it. Oh, it's Friendly Computer. Could you explain to me how to win in like 30 seconds? Um, build machines that build more machines until you're able to build a rocket. Launch the rocket, win the game. I already launched the rocket, but it's one of those games where you've not really won until you've actually scratched your itch until it's raw and bleeding. Also, I'm doing an all-achievements run, and some of these achievements are outrageous. Produce 20 million circuits, have 100 combat robots, burn 10,000 trees. I actually hope that they make more inspired achievements when they bring out the update. Uh, the 2.0 update, that is. Right, as is completely the case with this, I'm having problems with production. Reds. 
I could force more reds over here. Actually, the reds seem to be a little trickly here. No, it's just because in general this is a pretty poor setup for reds. But I'll be able to double the speed at which I produce things when I get the next tier, the final tier of assembly machines. Not only are they about twice as fast and very power hungry, uh, but they take twice as many modules, so I'll be able to put in three of the efficiency modules and then grind their power consumption all the way down. Although Jake wasn't sure you... How could I forget, friend, the computer? How could I forget almost getting angry at how much you enjoy the game The Beginner's Guide? But it's okay. I enjoyed that anger. Alright, so it's at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It's about two minutes worth of crafting time down here. Spider-Tron will be finished in probably four or five minutes. We build Spider-Tron, but Spider-Tron on her own is not enough. Spider-Tron needs a few extra things to make her really punch above her weight class. I have a bunch of batteries here, so I am going to make a bunch of personal batteries, which need steel, as ever. Doesn't need steel around here. Make me a bunch of these, because I need to make a bunch of personal battery mark twos, which need even more of you, go figure. Do I have batteries lying around here? Anyone see anything that looks like a battery? No, but you know what? I'm going to need these electric engines. Sorry, uh, sorry, buffered logistics network. Probably going to want these portable solar panels as well. I will not need additional portable fusion reactor by, uh, by my own ideals. Well, maybe one, actually. <laughs> can, I go, can I go and steal more things to make one more of those? Mm, do I need to, though? I kind of want to. It's a, it's a difficult thing to say. I'll take more of them regardless. Which means I also need more of you. That's not more enough. Give me these. Ooh, Spider-Tron's almost there. Did I ever research energy shields? Please tell me I did. I don't want to hear that I did not. I'm not seeing energy shield. There we go. Oh, thank God. I even researched the advanced energy shield. Which, as usual, needs, you know, all of this advanced cool equipment. And it also needs a bunch of reds. But I do need those shields. I don't need them, but I want them. Uh, Alright, reds. <laughs> Sorry, blue science. Once again, I'm gonna steal all your reds. This is horrible. Mother told me not to be horrible, but here I am being horrible. Right. Let's clear up the inventory a little bit. I need some space here. Why do I even have you? You go away. You know what? This is what trash slots are for. Thank you, Logistabots. You just take all that stuff away from me. Uh, whilst I consider my other needs. Also, let's make sure Spider-Tron is in the box. They got the low density structures. They got those. I want to get rid of both of my efficiency modules. Uh, how many electric engines was it for Spider-Tron? None. It was the exoskeletons. Well, there are your electroskeletons, your portable fusion reactors, your four rockets. What else am I missing for you? Two radars. There we go. That seems like everything. Spider-Tron in a box. Nice. I like having big, expensive things put into one box so you can just make them in one go. Uh, but like I said, I'm not quite done. Spider-Tron isn't complete unless you get some nice, fancy gear for Spider-Tron. So let's make two. I'd rather have more than two, but two we'll have to do of you. Let's make portable fusion reactor. Let's make energy shield. Energy shield is kind of like the batteries. You need a ton of stuff for this. Additionally, I need the the Matthew Steel. Uh, this is a little awkward. Grab me these. Grab me all of these. It's awkward because the advanced version of these requires loads of the not advanced versions of these. 
Uh, okay, two is fine, but more is better. Do I have any more batteries on hand? 98% Spider-Tron. Sorry, Spider-Tron, I won't have all your goodies tailor-made for you in time. But I'm working on it. I just can't wait to go killing. No one can enjoy the beginner's guide. <laughs> I, I abhorred that game. Truly. I, I don't like to say uh, such horrible things about a game, but I truly abhorred that game. And I beat it. Oh lordy, I beat the Beginner's Guide. I even got it on release. Because I was so enamored with the Stanley Parable. Stanley Parable was so good. Alright, Spider-Tron is ready. We're working on Automation 3 as well, because heavens knows we need it. But I want that Energy Shield Mark 2. I want an additional one at that. Forgive me, Spider-Tron. I am unworthy. I don't have your goodies done in time. Can I make another one of you? Yeah, there we go. Alright, all this faffing around, let's make Spider-Tron from a box. Shove all these goodies away. Grab the Spider-Tron box. Now that's all we have in our inventory, and just like that. One Spider-Tron. Boom. But what about the leftover stuff? Why, that's for the Spider-Tron remote, of course. Don't. Oh, this was being created. Yeah. All right, chat. What color and name shall we give to Spider-Tron? Consider that whilst I buy time for getting Spider-Tron's tailor-made equipment, please. Ditch some of the more garbage that I have on hand. Right, Spider-Tron, your own grid. I was against giving you a portable fusion reactor, but I'm going to give you one for now. You also need some shields. You also need some of the big boy batteries. And you need three exoskeletons. I made exoskeletons for you, right? Of course I did. They're right here. There you go, you can have mine, because I'm not walking around ever again. You're doing the walking for me. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd rather not have silly names for this glorious, uh, this glorious edition. Right. Yeah, I migrate you over there, because I want this space for two more Mark II batteries. Do I have the wherewithal to make two more Mark II batteries? I've actually got one on me right here, but I need one more or so. Oh, you guys are short of steel. Well, that's easily sorted. Yeah, one more Mark II battery right here, and one more Energy Shield Mark II right there, and then we have the fully decked out Spider-Tron. So you make me that. Which tells me I actually made too many of these uh, Energy Shield Mark 1s. Could I make one more so I can have just one spare Energy Shield Mark 2? Or is that overkill? It's probably overkill. There we go, and the one last battery. There we go. So, Spider-Tron has 3,000 health, has the highest resistances to all sorts of damage that you can make, uh, is relatively speedy, is self-powered, but with the additional power you power the grid here, and has its own logistics request, and its own trash slots, and its own trunk, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 80 large. How big is the tank? Also 80. How big is the car? I've never actually compared all of them together. Huh, they're all 80. So it's just the best vehicle. And now we pretty much do everything inside Spider-Tron because there's very little reason to get out of Spider-Tron. Spider-Tron is not bothered by any obstacles. And as long as one leg isn't standing on a uh, conveyor belt, it can do a little spider dance and not be bothered by them. It's cool to see. She'll just sit there like that forever. Right. So I think some people said we want to... Oh, I like that. 
The Red Baron. Ooh, the Rad Baron. Close, but not quite there. The Red Baron. Yeah. Can we not go for a more Zazzy Red? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> now it gets better because the grid that you have on Spidertron, this is purely defense and speed, uh, and of course some battery backing up. Uh, what I can do is I can switch my own stuff out for pure offense. So I can actually take away one of my portable fusion reactors, stick myself with as many personal laser defenses as I can, and uh, well, actually, I've got space for more, don't I? Mmm, God, you love to see it. That actually means that what I could do is just keep the extra power generation in case needed. Right, you're done. What else needs to be researched? Mm, we do need to figure out space science at some point, but I like the idea of... Well, there's a lot of ideas I like here. Mm, I want the next level of mining productivity. Alright. I support this only if the whole name is Colin Baxter from Venice. Right. Well now, the only other thing that I want for my poor Spidertron here before we go and finally get revenge for all the horrible things the bugs have done to our home. Part of me still feels like I could do with more of these personal laser defenses. One, two, three, four. I got, I got space for them, why not? Who's going to stop me after all? Oops. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Shove in one, two, three. And then I can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen personal laser defenses. And the bots can still be around to help me when I inevitably need to repair Spidertron or myself. And I can shove in the portable fusion reactor as and when needed. But, as I said, we weren't done, done with Spidertron because... Explosive rockets. 493 of them. That is child's play, but for now it'll have to do. Spidertron, take them all. 193. Oh, right, some of them are in my rocket launcher. I don't need that many. Spidertron deserves them more than me. I keep them more as a last ditch item. Switch myself over to my crappy uh, submachine gun. Right, and I want to make sure that you're not on auto targeting. Never do auto targeting. Only fire when I tell you to fire. All right, it's been a long time coming. We have been pinned down and oppressed by Big Biter for too long. He's out there, getting strong, huffing my pollution without paying me for it, and then deciding to attack me. He has gotten strong, fat off the lard of my own work. Evolution factor 0 0.73. Let's get to work, Red Baron. Hello, friends. Goodbye, friends. They managed to barely scratch for four damage because we have this, um, we have these power shields which keep restoring. Mm. So we just walk into things and we kill them. And if you think that's it's not impactful enough, I'm inclined to agree. Let's have a bit more fun. Boom, 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 boom. Ah. It's even more fun when you blow up their little homes. Now that's not free. I have to spend explosive rockets to blow him up. But the area of effect attack from hitting him with rockets. Why do I not have any uh, bots helping me out? Oh, I gave away all of my, uh, my fixie things, didn't I? Can I make any more? Of course I can. There we go. Now my bots can fix me up. Kill the little ones that remain, and carry on. Spidertron never got a chance to fully recharge on battery, but it's not a problem. Even if Spidertron runs out of battery, all that means is that the... Uh, well, even the exoskeletons will still work. It just means that the energy shields are recharged slower. The portable fusion reactor puts out a constant 750 kilowatts, and together the exoskeletons will eat 600 of that. So 150 will go into recharging shields, and if that's done, recharge the batteries. It's a wonderful setup.
We've uh, gained 0.005 evolution from trashing those bases. But what we can do is just keep going around and trashing bases. After having played Ultra Death World, these regular Death World homes seem kind of titchy. But if I eradicate all of these bases, and there's very little stopping me from doing so, especially when I blow them up with explosive rockets, never waste your time with regular rockets, only explosive rockets. They do slightly less damage, but their area of effect. That's so much better than single target in a game like this. The only downside to the explosive rockets that I can think of is that they will damage these trees, but if you want to preserve the trees, just don't fire the rockets. It's spacebar to fire, there's nothing forcing you to fire. Except for the glorious sight of doing all this damage. Tell you what though, I think we could do with... Uh... Oh god, where is it? Where's explosive damage? Ah, there you are. Wow, I've already gotten a fair bit of explosive damage. But you know what? Nothing's stopping us having even more explosive damage. And I feel like there's a firing rate thing that I don't have. I feel like normally my Spider-Trons can fire a lot faster than this. Maybe firing rate does affect them. That purple bar there is my overshield. They are not even touching the overall health of Spider-Tron. The Red Baron. Zappity, zappity, zap. And again, the battery is holding very strong. My own personal battery on my power armor is also holding strong. There we go. Leave no home unburned. All the oppression that Biter put me under. The super early game. Destroying my everything, forcing me to go and die. The fish that I had to consume. For all we know, Factorio guy is allergic to sushi. Rocket launchers are affected by later weapon attack speed upgrades. Is that so? And this bears investigation. Aha! No, that's cannon shells. That's also cannon shells. That is also cannon shells. So what affects explosives then? I would have thought it would count as projectile, but perhaps I'm dead wrong. Mysterious. You see, Jake, all the guys saying that you should have built one of these at the start. That was damage and not speed. Oh yeah, that sounds like a mistake I'd make. Ah, there we go. Well, you know what? Why don't we see if we can grab ourselves some faster rocket firing speed? It's pretty cheap on the research, at least those initial, well that's not cheap cheap, but at least it only uses the uh, the goods that we have plenty of after that, back to mining productivity, and what was the other thing I was after? Probably stronger explosives. Rockets are very cheap, they cost very few plates, and plates is the only thing I consider when it comes to cost. I don't really consider uh, explosives much of a cost, because they just cost, what is it, coal and sulfur or something? Those are insignificant costs in my eyes. In my very correct eyes. Now this might look incredibly powerful, and you might think what possible uh, threat could the biters still have against us when we can just stroll into the heart of their kingdom, blow them up, zap them to death, walk through completely unscathed against all of these. Well, there are two things really. One, behemoths can still do a number on Spider-Tron, so you'd want uh, even more laser defense against that and probably a bit more aggressive use of rockets. But again, that's really only if you go charging into horrible effects like this. If there were a bunch of Beth Moths here, I could just uh, skirt around them and uh, murderize them. The real problem is that you can't be everywhere in Spider-Tron. Yeah, that's not actually true. There's nothing stopping you making 50 Spider-Trons and then sending them out on patrols to kill everything everywhere. 
So if that's the kind of thing that you would aspire towards in this game, go for it. The uh, the bugs will never stop multiplying. Why are they fighting that rock? But the ultimate solution to the biter question is artillery. Artillery one-shots every worm and every biter base. The only thing that can survive artillery are behemoths. And that doesn't matter because you're going to kill the behemoth's home, so what he does is he charges your base in a revenge attack and probably dies because you wouldn't have artillery and not have defense, right? Artillery is the UPS killer because it causes the revenge attacks which are enormous. I am killing way too many and they're nowhere near our pollution cloud. The point of this is to take out the biters inside the pollution cloud. Can behemoth worms survive an artillery shot? I was unaware of that. In fact, I was 99% certain that artillery shots kill them in one shot. And artillery doesn't get increased damage, I don't think. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. On top of that, artillery does splash damage, so you can get two for the price of one, and then some. The main reason to have artillery is to... Well, you, you make your own reason, right? In my eyes, the main reason for artillery is to ensure that biter expansions stay outside of your pollution zone. Because even though I'm killing all of these biter and biter nests, every... You know, roughly every 10 minutes or so, it depends on evolution and some other settings, roughly every 10 minutes they're going to select an area and try to expand towards it. Uh, it's generally going to be somewhere that's free, so if I clean this out they're probably going to expand back in here. So what I could do is use artillery just to keep them suppressed, but my main idea is actually to set up some choke points. I'd like to set up some proper walls out there and uh, claim a whole bunch of land for my own. That way I'll be able to get a lot more resources, and I need a lot more resources. I should have brought some solar panels and, uh, and radars so that I can unveil more land. But I suppose I can just walk over to... <laughs> Walk over to land in Spidertron. If I can see... Oh yeah, okay, some of these biter nests do get pretty damn big on... Uh, on Death World. Dying here and losing Spidertron would be a pretty big loss. It would be uh, a few dozen thousand plates worth of loss. So what's that? I don't know, like half an hour of production maybe? So let's try and not lose Spidertron, but that might be quite difficult given the sheer amount of health that she has, which has not been damaged in quite a while now. Uh, the fact that she has a self-healing um, self -healing shield, although her battery is getting quite low and mine too is struggling a little bit. What more glorious way to die? <laughs> not dying would be a nice one. We kind of share the energy burden, because I'm the one doing all the shooting with the lasers, and she's the one doing all the moving and the shielding. But yeah, just like that, all of this area here is no longer uh, polluting biter nests. Although, pollution spreads like crazy on Death World, so it's just going to spread down to you and you and you. But I fully plan on coming along and killing all these, but I want to see if there's a choke point over here. If there is, like if I can just come across some water then I know where I could set up a wall. If not... Oh, well, speak of the devil, there's some water. That means I could wall from here to here. Keep this wall, maybe push it out. I don't know, let's go exploring. Who's going to stop us? Not the biters, that's for sure. Uh, there is no imperative for me to kill every biter I see here. Although we are certainly seeing the death world effects of biters. Yeesh. You know what, this is foolish. I should be doing this when I have some radars to throw down. Radars and... Um, what's the other thing? Solar panels for the radars. Come one, come all, biter buddies! What a sorry fate for those buggers. Right, this has all been well and good, but... Where is my Spidertron remote? Here it is. Uh, that was not what I wanted to do. How do you assign it to the Spidertron again? There we go. Now I don't even need to manually 
pilot Spidertron. I just say Spidertron go, and Spidertron goes. And my, uh, my laser grid automatically eradicates anything in the way. And now you can just sit back. In fact, you, you don't even need to add these waypoints. You can actually tell Spidertron to follow something else. Uh, ideally, I imagine a train would be a good idea. And then Spidertron will just autonomously take care of that. Following along a uh, predetermined path. The game is all about automation, after all. Now this is lazy bastard. I can hear the jealousy in your typed words, young. Oh man, one of the coolest things about Spider-Tron. Remember this uh, setup with landfill? Which I couldn't clear? Oh, this is, this is lovely. I can actually just stop and take a drink while we do this. Mm. Looking forward to high-quality Spider-Trons that have uh, even larger grids as well. Spider-Tron doesn't care about water being in the way. She just goes. That is in, uh, impassable to everything, actually, except Spider-Tron. Cars can't cross it, trains can't cross it until the expansion. Biters cannot, and your Factorio Engineer cannot. But Spider-Tron can. I don't like Spider-Tron, it's so impersonal. It's not just Spider-Tron, this is the Red Baron Von Own. Right, I came back here because I wanted to do some better exploring. If you want to explore proper, get some solar panels. You could use accumulators. I don't really care about accumulators. Just give me a fat stack of these. Uh, I also want a fat stack of radars. 30? Is 30 enough? It's probably too many, all things considered. And I'm out of plates and sprockets for more, kind of. I'll, I'll grab more just in case. The only annoying thing about Spider-Tron is there's a bit of imprecision about moving. See, there's a bit of... When it's you, you stop dead on anything. But with Spider-Tron, it's way... You don't exactly know which square you're going to end up on. Right, so with that, I'm going to go on a bit of an exploration spree. Let's start with the north. There is a base that I've wanted to destroy for a long time. Also, while we're back here... It stands to reason that we should... I tell you what, actually, one thing about you, Spidertron. I'm a little worried about your energy consumption. Go and get these. That's going to give you another hundred and something kilowatts. At least until your battery's full, if it even gets full. What's your problem? No explosives. What's your problem? No coal? Oh, I manually fed you coal. Right, well, this will not do. We don't do manual around here anymore. Those days are behind us. Delete that. Uh, grab you there. And you there. Especially now that we dug out that coal mine. That's probably a big reason why we didn't get as many explosive rockets as I thought. It's not that slow. You produce me a rocket every four seconds, which when automated is pretty good. Had to double check that one for a second. Out pops one explosive every two seconds. Out it goes, down it goes. God, I just love seeing the production change go, especially when it's your own kind of spaghetti. To hell with blueprints, right? Okay, maybe if you're a speedrunner. But nah, blueprints are... Blueprints are not soul. Even if you've already made them yourself. Make something new. Get some new material. Right. Uh, as I was saying. This particular biter nest. And I need to put you on my hotbar here. This particular biter nest has been no shortage of problems. It's been right on my border the whole game. Although it's probably more accurate to say that I've been on its border. If it weren't here, we'd have almost no northern problems because the thick forest, which has not been injured, aside from uh, a slight bit of my uh, fiery deforestation. Wow, they, they really <laughs> wanted to rip into Spider-Trump. Immediately shanked through my shields. That was funny. Um, yeah, there we go. You were around here for so long and I just removed you from the equation. 
God bless you, Red Baron Spider-Tron. I do like how impersonal artillery is, though. It is just a such a no-you solution. And we will have artillery on this run. We're not making a mega base, but we will be doing just about everything this game has to offer. Because we've got to make uh, 20 million red chips, of which we've made half a million. And we've been playing for how long? A while. Wow, 10 hours and some spare change ago we launched a rocket. What have we achieved since then? Yeah, I love seeing those explosions. I'm pretty sure Spider-Tron is immune to our own explosions, but again, nukes seem to be something special. If your Spider-Tron launches a whole load of nukes, you will destroy your own Spider-Tron. Pretty much nothing in this game is immune to nukes. In some situations, a bear moth can survive a nuking. But that's the exception rather than the norm. It's close. Almost let my construction bot get destroyed by the acid spit. Acid spit annihilates your poor construction bots. Try out the auto target. I don't like auto targeting. It often fires when you don't want it to, you can't control where it attacks, and it just is a way to chew through your own rockets. Alright. While we are here, I'll go as north as is safe to do so. And let's design a tiny little radar setup. I think radar and... How many of these things are needed to power a radar, anyway? Five? A radar consumes 30. These things power for 60. Five times six is 30. Alright, that makes sense to me. There's got to be a better design than that, but this will do. So let's copy that, put it down there, and throw it down. What was I saying about blueprints aren't sold? Ooh, ooh, that might be an even better place. Do I have landfill on me? Oh, 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 now this is delightfully devilish. See these guys? They think they're safe on their little island? Well, maybe they were. Once. This has got to be somebody's worst nightmare. Ah. Um. Operation Marketplace, what could have been? There we go. Now this is very, very safe. Means I'm gonna get rid of the other satellite. I know you only need one. The satellite will work. However, the satellite won't scan efficiently all the places around it, and I do actually want it to scan this whole square area. So quick primer on satellites, when they're running, even on low power, they, uh, I don't know how many, I don't know, actually know the range of this, how many chunks is that? Alright, so they go out by a square radius of one, two, three chunks around them, and they'll keep this unveiled. But they will, square by square, unveil an area like this, and you can see their scanning, uh, their scanning process. So they finish scanning that square, then that, then that, then that. And they go out and they do all of this automa uh, automatically, and it'll unveil it, and they'll periodically go through and rescan. And I want them to finish off uh, doing that large area so I can see even more of the map. It's automation, so it's good. Can't you place many more on the other? Yeah, I could place a whole bunch of them, but um, we're in this for a while, so I'm not in a particular hurry. I'm interested in finding choke points. I want to extend out a new wall. For example, maybe there's a bit of water here, making this a northern choke point. Let's go along and find out. Also, every little biter nest that we clear here gives the biters a uh, fresh area to potentially expand into. I, I know I said I was heading north there, but I still want to clear out some of these guys so that they're not in my pollution cloud and causing attacks. It's not we're a spider, you are the spider baron, the red baron no less. I uh, I read your mind. 
and discovered that all along you wanted to be a spider. Seems pretty cool, right? Seems like a pretty laid-back life. You get to make a home out of your butt. Oh, easy on the explosions. They're going to take down the trees. And I like the trees. In a way, although this killing to me is deeply satisfying, I can imagine some people want, would want it to involve a bit more nukes and a little less uh, impersonal laser firing, or a lot more artillery. Um, it is quite manual. So artillery remains the ultimate answer to the biter question. Ooh, I got my speed up. Oh, now look how fast we go. All right, somebody said they wanted to see automatic uh, targeting. Bye, bye, biters. Oops, 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 oops. I accidentally had my... Um... Oh boy, that is, that is too automatic. Stop. <laughs> he just used up so many of my uh, of my rockets there. So I accidentally kept my personal roboport on, and that means some robots tried to fly out and fix my vehicle. But in the middle of all the everything, they got shot to shreds. Right, a little bit more over to the side, and I should be able to lay down another radar. It seems like this is not a nice choke, but well, maybe it is. We haven't checked out everything. What I am on the hunt for are large patches of copper and iron. I don't care about uranium or coal. It's all copper and all iron. And I need that in a ratio of... What do I need that in a ratio of? I think 1.5 to 1. So 2 to 3. Uh, 2 iron to 3 copper. I always forget what's the, what's the makings of a green circuit. Yeah, 2 to 3 in favour of copper. Because again, I need to make 20 million uh, green chips, and you're not going to make those out of uh, rocks. Gotta make it out of iron. So we've got water here. This could still be a nice northern wall in due time. Nice thing is that while we're doing all this, our base is busy producing. So it's not like we're wasting our time. Yeah, actually, this looks like it could work. Just Oh, ooh, yeah, yeah, crikey, look at that, 16 million iron, another 3.2 million there, 3.2 million copper, 5.2 million copper, okay, uh, well, I'm looking at the future uh, green circuit city up here. That is probably more than I should throw Spidertron into right now, let's just figure out how the wall is going to go. It feels a little cheaty, but I like it. Cheaty? We worked our way towards this, every scrap of the way. Right at the start, we were tearing down trees with our bare hands, shoving said bare hands into blisteringly hot furnaces, and yet this is cheaty? All the while, we had biters spitting distance away from our spawn. No, we've earned this. Oh, I love explosive rockets so much. Okay, so this is unveiled where we're going to have our wall. We're not going to have this wall... Well, I was going to say not anytime soon, but actually, as soon as I automate the creation of uh, laser turrets, we should be good. Because I don't anticipate causing pollution attacks this far north. Well, maybe when we get all the mines and everything operational. And then I can pump up some oil. Actually, do I even need to? Strangely lacking oil around here. Uh, I'm going to set down a radar in the hopes that the radar can unveil something to that effect. Because I'd rather have local oil than pump it out of my main oil. Because that's a long way to pump fluid. And fluid pressure dynamics is a thing in this game. It is a very real thing and it can hurt you. Oh, speaking of hurting people. Belly's going to get ya. Oh, I thought this was an island. But it's not. It's a peninsula. A peninsula full of forest, okay. Well, we came, we saw, we conquered. We're a lot like the Reapers, except we're just one one spider. 
can I set you up here? Kind of, that'll do. Oh, with just one tiny little insignificant bit of uh, of landfill, I can put down the last necessary piece of that. There we go, now you're going to run at full pelt. And you're going to, whilst this one unveils all of this area, you're going to unveil all of this area. But I do think this is going to be my northern wall. Let's go and figure out what's going on down there. I know, terribly exciting. And I said I was going to stop streaming about an hour ago, but here we are. I also accidentally set my keyboard to Japanese. I always forget that bleeding hotkey. Nice big desert for some solar power. Are we going to do solar, though? There's going to be a point where the next uh, next load of power we need is so huge that nuclear is the only reasonable answer. And I didn't say I wanted to do just about everything in this playthrough. Right? That includes nuclear, right? The problem with nuclear is that it's the one thing in the game where I do advocate for blueprints. I have made nuclear in this game several times. But it's hard to get much soul in nuclear. In the end, you're going to have a 2 by n setup of reactors, because that's the only setup that makes sense in this game. And you're going to have heat pipes that need to go into heat exchangers, that go into uh, fancy turbines. And there's really only so many ways you can set it up. That said, I will still set it up using my galactic brain, rather than uh, the blueprints that anyone who's played this game for any length of time knows all about. What's the name of that that really cool giant one that you place straight on the water? It's got a it's got a fancy I think it's called the Sovereign. Yeah, the Sovereign. Well I'll, I won't be relying on the Sovereign this time, that's for sure. Right. Righty tighty. This looks like another nice choke point, or is it? Is that a lake or a bigger lake? Oh it's certainly a lot of iron ore, so closing off this seems like a a done deal. Nothing to worry about. Oh, well, actually, running through that might be cause for concern. See, now it looks like one of those oldie games like uh, the Game of Life. Is that what it's called? The one where... Uh, what is it? I think two or more things together will produce new life, but if there are four or five pixels together, it's overpopulation and they die. It's a life modeling simulator. I forget its name. Yeah, there's some oil. Not much oil up there, though. Yes, that's Conway's Game of Life. Wow. It's amazing when I sound like I know what I'm talking about. Seems so unfeasible. Also, nice thing about Spider-Tron is you can lose the biters in the forest. They are pretty terrible at pathing through trees, just like... Well, just like Factorio guy is. Of course, one of the downsides is they start destroying the trees. Unfair. The biters have figured out pollution play of their own. Well, good job, Spider-Tron. I think we can do away with that and give you back some extra shielding. It's not only extra buffered shield, but it produces another 12 shield per mm, second, I think. Holy moly, right. Clearly, Big Biter hasn't had enough of me yet. He even took down three of my repair bots during that attack. Well, this kind of violation of our non-aggression pact will not go unpunished. Let's make sure we're in full fighting form for this. Yeah, see, that's an expansion party that got right up close to my, um, to my walls, so they were constantly drinking my pollution and using that to send out attacks. Pollution mechanics are that uh, the, the pollution that you produce is absorbed by the biter nests and they use it to create specific attack parties like that little bit. And they assemble for anything from 1 to 10 minutes and then they send, uh, they send everything at you. It's a, the pollution mechanics in this game is so good. It's so well designed. And like good design, it's simple. Simple, effective, easy to understand, intuitive. There's so much about this game that's just phenomenal. 
Can you still turn off pollution for the 8 hour achievement? Uh, there are a lot of things that you can edit to get the achievement easier. You can have massive piles of, uh, of ore everywhere. You can give yourself a massive safe starting size. And I think you can also edit pollution. I don't think you can turn it off, although I might be wrong. Thinking about it, I think I saw in the in the speedrun guide, uh, I was sent that several times when running this, and I still didn't want to follow it. But I think it actually mentioned you can set pollution production to zero. That's just not right, though. <laughs> I want to do this on standard settings. I am doing this on standard settings. I'm not looking to get some metal out of this. This is mostly self-imposed stuff. You can save UPS. Mm, if my base is big enough to care about that, then I'm probably done with my game. Alright, so you're discovering the north here and a bit here. I should have put down a, a radar there when I was there. I was just keen to go and squash some bugs. But while I'm down here, I'm going to set up a radar over on that wee island. Da -na 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 na 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 even if I kill all these biters, the pollution is just going to spread more and more over this desert. I need uh, a solution with some finality to these bugs. And that's going to be a big-ass wall and some even bigger-ass artillery. There's another achievement I need to get, and that's the Transfactorio Express. I have some ideas on how to do that, but you know what? I don't actually have the tech for it. I don't even know how to build a train stop. I can send a uh, satellite to space. Actually, I can't specifically send a satellite, but I can send a rocket into space, but I can't figure out how to stop a train. Hmm, something to be said for going over there. But that would involve setting down some pretty ugly looking landfill, and if there's one thing I'm not building in this run, it's ugliness. So there we go. This needs no further operation by me as well. The solar panels will produce forever. They'll only shut down during night. And on this planet, Nob uh, this planet Novice, night is extremely short. Uh, do I double back or do I sort this out? I think I'll double back. Since I've taken care of a lot of the nests that are really close to the base, the ones here have far less pollution to absorb. So that's actually going to ease up the attacks on the base. But again, I want to uh, I want to eradicate all of Biter kind. And artillery brings a certain... Uh... Oh crap, how does the quote go? I was ready to say it, but I forgot it. Artillery... I think it's dignity. Artillery brings a certain dignity to the barbarism of the battlefield. You should come back to the UK! We can stop trains just fine. It's getting us to the start. That's the problem. No, the UK's train network is a travesty, and the less I have to experience that, the better. Dignity to an ugly brawl. Thank you, Azimuth. Someone knows their military quotes better than I. Oh, hello. A fair few of them here. This calls for an explosive solution. In Days Gone of Factorio, uh, I believe the lasers actually used to fire out like projectiles rather than beams. God, this is just nothing but worms. It's like getting lucky charms and finding nothing but the crunchy things and none of the marshmallow bits. And I like squishing those nests. It's just kind of the way they... They kind of implode on themselves once you destroy them. Mmm. And it's not just that, there's a really nice bit of degradation in this game. Once I've slaughtered all these little hapless bugs. And some of them are just little bugs. Mm, seems like a fine enough place for a radar. Little shy on space here, so I'll just go and plonk it down right there. Get to work. So these are some... Hang on, hang on. Someone's still alive out there. Get out of here. So these are some lovely freshly killed corpses, but they actually rot and decay over time. I wonder if these ones have by now. Well, those are the bodies. I was hoping for a nest. Oh, these guys. Oh, they've already rotted away to nothing. But you can see on the ground that there were alien... Oh, 
Oh, I'm the alien here. There were buggy nests here before. Have we got any that I've killed more recently? Okay, you might have to take my word for it. But they do rot away, and the effect, whilst disgusting, is uh, really impressive. Right, you will unveil a bunch of this. I also want a radar up here. Then between you two, you should unveil most of this. If you're working on that. And then I'll go and deal with this, and we'll try and figure out where we're going to set up our our walls, ultimately. Uh, no long play boat yet. I didn't set it up. And that's my mistake. I genuinely planned to do it today, and then when the time came to do it, it just went out of my head. You know how it is. When you get, when you get this old, you know, you're lucky if you can remember your own name and birthday. James, just you wait until you have to go to the bathroom three times a night, but you only wake up twice. It'll happen to you. Right, a little more north would be advantageous here, I think. That island would be nice. Actually, that island would be very nice. Can we just snake our way across there, pretty please? Go, my little botty friends. Yeah, there we go. I knew you could do it, Spider-Tron. A for aces. This is my island now, and that should unveil quite a lot around here. Evidently there's uh, choke point areas. This concerns me a little bit about the... the <laughs> spider trunk can do the wee spider dance just on one tile. Yeah, Tiles Principle 2 came out. I'm not really that keen to play it. I played Tiles Principle 1 to completion. I even got the good and bad ending. And it was good. It had some good puzzles. The the kind of the message it was trying to pour on you was a bit much. And the... Uh, yeah, yeah you, you know me in plot in most games. But the thing was, I really felt like the game would overstate its welcome after a while. After a while, I was just sick of seeing yet more light-bending puzzles. Yet more of those goddamn audio logs. Um, so whilst I had fun, I was glad to see the back of it. And that doesn't usually leave me hungry for a sequel. Alright, it's night time, so these things are off, right? Yeah, it's pitch black night. But as I said, night doesn't last long here in Novis, our planet. Okay, uh, now I can't remember where, if anywhere, I've set up my... Ah, no, light, uh, day is coming. Alright, we got you, we got you. I think I'll set up a little bit over here. Then I'm going to set up this, and then I'm going to call it a night. Because it's already tomorrow, and I've got shopping to do. I already liquidated most of what I had left in my pantry into dinner last night. And it was amazing. Oh my god, I just made the best stock ever. And just anything that touches that becomes a delectable meal. Big, chunky, meaty bones for 200 forint a kilogram here. Oh, my days, I was so happy. Except I really need to learn the word for 100 in Hungarian, because uh, I, I just could not communicate that I only wanted 200 grams of something at the butcher. They thought I wanted 200, uh, they thought I wanted 2 kilos on it. 200 gram. 200 gram. I was like, okay, she, she's insisting on slicing me off 2 kilos here. So I punched it into a wee translator thing. And it even just says 200 gram on it, but I show her that and she goes, ah, again, again. And then slices me off a tiny chunk of it. She's already hacked it off, because I think, I think she thought I was, uh really, really just wanting two kilos. So when she cuts off the meat and it's 2.3 kilos, and then she slices a bit more off, it's 2.1. It's like, no, I was even pointing at the small chunks. But this is what happens when you arrogantly move to a country and don't learn the language. And that's what we Brits are, arrogant through and through. Biter evolution is... Wow. We're pretty close to Behemoth Biter. When Behemoth uh, Biter arrives, I'm really going to have to enrich my defenses. Because my current defenses will not hold against Behemoths. Some of these may die, by the way. Uh, Biter expansion parties will aggro on the satellite, which for some reason is counted as a military building and targeted by Biters as such. 
but that's okay. Uh, radars are extremely cheap. One radar costs 32 and a half plates. Actually, that's not that cheap, is it? Huh. Well, even so, at this stage in the game, that's certainly cheap, because Spider-Tron cost me... Uh, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 14,000, okay, dozens of thousands of plates. And plate, I mean a processed piece of ore, which is pretty much how I count the cost of everything, or anything in this game. Ah, here we go, here's someone I've trodden, uh, trodden over before. And this, were you an expansion party? Possibly. Oh god, what? Well, now, seems I have perhaps been a little foolhardy. We do need to defend ourselves a bit up north. Well, fortunately for me, that's exactly where I was going. Uh, Spider-Tron, take me to the north. I do have a replacement flamethrower turret. I have replacement pipes. I have replacement walls, and I don't have enough repair packs, actually. Uh, make a stop off over at Repair Pack Central, please. Do I have a RoboPort? Yes. And okay, I've got everything set up. Automated defenses there, then. Let's automate defenses of the West Wall. We have ignored it for a long time. We shall ignore it no longer. Wow, I'm not sure the Biters have ever destroyed a. No, no they did. Early on, I think two of these flamethrower turrets got destroyed because they pierced through specifically this piece of wall here. And then Medium Biter got in. Fortunately, I was able to pacify it with, uh, I think, about 80 bullets. It wasn't cheap, but it was done. Alright, there we go. Just get that fixed. And now I reward unto you for your countless years of service. Do you have a radar? Yeah, you do have a radar. Good. Here is one robo-port to cover as much of the wall as possible from as long a distance as possible. The reason to make the distance as long as possible is so that hopefully by the time the um, the bots arrive... And this isn't linking up to anything else, is it? No, good. By the time the bots arrive... Well, you actually know it'd be too hard to link you up, would it? I just need, like, two robo-ports here. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Anyway, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 100 repair packs. Actually, I'm always happier when the repair packs are inside here. And uh, make it 199. There you go. Now you will autom uh, autonomously repair all of this. It's a little ugly though, isn't it? A little is putting it lightly. Anyway, uh, clearly... Ah, here's the problem. They did end up expanding nearby once more, and they will die once more. It's uh, Saz, 100. Saz, like sea alike. Oh. Oh, I see. Sea alike. Uh, mm. I think I'd have to hear that before I could mimic it. Just ask for... T oh, yeah, yeah. Everything here is in Dessa, isn't it? You buy cheese in Dessa... Is it decigrams or decikilos? Decigrams, I think. Yeah, that kind of threw me. Prices are like that as well. Speaking of cheese, I need to go back to Budapest to buy some cheese. Poor uncheese cultured Hungarians, but fortunately I found a, uh, a lovely little marketplace in Budapest that actually has good cheese. And boy, is it good cheese. Right, so we plow our way out here. This, these, these revenge attacks of mine are mostly just to prevent there being pressure on West Wall. Mostly. I need to go and find out any choke point. This looks like it's going to go up here, and this will go up here, so that would give me a choke point here. And then if I can just find a choke point here, then we'll be able to plan out something on the wall. And hey, you can see, the, uh, the radar here has been scanning around. Wonderful. What cheese do you consider good? Oh, there is almost no cheese I wouldn't eat. Give me blood cheese, give me charcoal cheese, give me something nutty, give me something that smells like old nasty feet, give me something moldy. I just love cheese. 
Jeez, Gromit. Yeah, that'll overlook with this. We can go push a little bit further. Give me something mild and nutty. Give myself some good brie. And it better be good brie. I've had plenty of bland, tasteless brie in my life. I have no problem paying top dollar for damn good cheese. The place that I found in Budapest had some amazing... I think it was truffle gorgonzola. But there was also some hard cheese from the Transylvanian region of uh, Hungary. So I didn't just buy Italian cheese. And I also got a, a very inconspicuous plastic pot of relatively homemade cheese. I mean, that was good. It wasn't good as the other stuff, but uh, it also didn't cost as much as the other stuff. God, I love good cheese. Alright, finding it hard to find a good position for you. Oi, you. Don't you... Don't you tread on me. I'm going to shove you there. You'll help out with the unveiling. Let's just make sure there are none of you lying around. Is it local cheese or some of those import shops? Uh, can't be that far to import from Italy here. But uh, the place that I'm, the place that I was at in Budapest was just a cheese stall in an indoor marketplace. Not the, not the big main one that's right in this uh, city centre, but not far off it. Okay, I need to actually stop killing biter bases unless it's necessary. We are way close to behemoths, and destroying biter bases causes a huge amount of evolution. Wait, the drones, Jake. Oh, crumbs. Uh, they all came back, right? Ye no. No, they did not. Alright, let's go and rescue the drones. Those drones will die very easily to big biter, so we can just see them. It's kind of cute. They, they, they just barely hover along if they're out of battery. But there we go. They they now slot into my backpack. Happy like uh, Banjo's Kazooie. I love these tasty cheese stories of the background noise of screaming biters. <laughs> yeah, me too. As it should be. So yeah, now I'm purposely avoiding the eradication of these. Oh, it's going to be hard to avoid. Thread the needle. There we go. I'm just here to unveil your area. Don't mind me, although there might be a safe place to set up a... Uh... Oh, yeah, is this going to be safe? Looks safe to me. Over we go, go. Come on, by. Yeah, there we go. The Red Baron strikes again. Hmm, whole new area over here. Might not be safe to put down a... A radar, but conversely, it might be safe enough to put down a radar. Just shove you over there. Kill any stragglers that try to do anything here. Come back. They will aggro on this, so I need to take care of any uh, any biter scum that comes over here. All right, looks safe, ish. No, you're actually trying to kill a tree there. Come on. Any more for any more? Oh, they're still kind of coming out to try and play with me. Come on. Like I said, they are miserable at pathing through the forest. Oh my god, let's just put an end to you. Just want my radar here so I can uncover the lands. Right, okay, this is 120% a nice choke point. Even have localized oil, another batch of copper. We just need to figure out what's down here, and then we make our future plans. There we go. Now they're all dead. They shouldn't bother my radar, and if they do, it's no big loss. We all know quite a bit around here. Oh, come on, come on, you can get out of here. 
If you made it over, you can make it back. There we go. Again, trying to avoid destroying yet more biter bases. I can't really afford the evolution at this point. Behemoths are not to be taken lightly. They are hardcore. It seems to carry on in this direction. Could I unveil more with a radar around here? We'll try to. There's no pollution around here, so I, I don't risk any biter attacks happening around here. And my pollution is unlikely to grow much. There is some more manufacturing I plan on doing, but overall it's not going to get much more than this for now. <laughs> Start putting more mods on things and we'll have a different story. Right, what do we want to work on here? We've gotten pretty much all of the relevant techs. Some nice boosters include inserter capacity bonus. There's pretty much no need for logistics three. Wouldn't mind more damage output on my lasers though, especially with big Behemoth around the corner. Artillery is extremely expensive, but doesn't require purple. That's a notable, a notable boon to it. Uh, I will need space science at some point so that I can get uh, glorious white science. Okay, then it is just the big expensive stuff coming. Then we'll get that. We'll get that on the menu. Also, possible great opportunity for setting down a. Little radar post over here. Could I just do that and that? I don't even need to set foot there. The bots will take care of it. It shows that it has no power, but that's just because it's night time. Oh man, you know, really giving it some thought, I would be hard pressed to say if my Desert Island game would be Factorio or Rimworld. I still think Rimworld is more endlessly replayable to me. But Factorio is just so perfect. I used to say FTL was a perfect game, but that was like a decade before Factorio, so how the standards have changed. Also, there's no way FTL could be my Desert Island game. FTL is just too limited in, uh, in content. This is a very rich coal patch right here. 11 million. Unfortunately for the coal patch, I have no need of it. Or maybe fortunately for it. FTL is really predictable. Yeah. I can win FTL almost every game. I am extremely confident in my abilities in FTL. That said, I haven't played it in ages, so I might be rusty as all sin. But yeah, give me FTL, give me any ship, and I'm probably going to win. That sounds a little too cocky, doesn't it? But hey, I've played a lot of FTL, and I've streamed a lot of FTL, so I can stand by that. You need coal for plastics? Yeah, uh, the thing is I have 5 million coal right here. Easily belted over. And that's not 5 million coal, that's more like 7 million coal. Because we get um, efficiency, uh, drilling efficiency, which, thinking about it... Oh, I need infinite science to bring it out more. Hmm. Well, maybe not... 7 million, maybe like 6 million. Anyway, that's a lot. So I'm not going to need more anytime soon. Does coal become redundant? No, coal never becomes redundant because you need it for plastic. Uh, you also need it for explosives, and explosives are needed for cliff explosives, if nothing else. Even if you're not using it uh, aggressively. Yeah, some of these are really going down, actually. The production rate here. Oh, hello. They're still coming at me. There must be a nest down here that I ignored. Yeah, there's this one. Alright, that is worth the uh, the expenditure in my evolution rate. Uh, I did, I think it was called Captain's Mod for FTL, but I wasn't taken by it. FTL's a great base game, and the, yeah, the added content I didn't really feel sparked much joy. Alright, sweet. So, as best I can tell... We're going to wall here, here. I feel like there's more to this. We'll see what the radars unveil here, but if not, down here. Here, 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 here. And 
Was there not really water here? I guess, again, our radar will unveil more. But if nothing else, we could wall up here. And that will give us access to all the copper and all the iron that we should need for the 20 million chip uh, achievement. For example, 8 million copper over here. I'll make notes of these on the on the map, make my life a bit easier. But yes, we have the copper, we have the iron. Uh, with behemoths on the rise, though, I will need some actual defenses on the walls. That's going to necessitate quite a few laser turrets and flamethrower turrets. So those are things that need to be automated. I already have an automated setup for flamer turrets, but I think it's capped at 50. Uh, I would like to not uncap it, because they're still expensive as sin. 30 steel plates a pop. Oh, hey. Spidertron is not immune to being moved on conveyor belts if every single foot is sitting on a conveyor belt. But if we just, we just tickle our way off of one... <laughs> She's so confused! Alright. Enough horsing around here. Careful, Jake. You'll have to scratch that itch for FTL. It's still raw and bleeding. Oh, hello. I also need to up my oil. Not the oil production, but the oil refining, because look at that. The sheer amount of petroleum gas that I've been chewing through has finally come to bite me in the bottom. Oh, but this is nice. So much rocket fuel. How about we have so much more rocket fuel? Wouldn't that be fun? I mean, I don't know what one man is meant to do with so much rocket fuel, but... Uh... How about we just go nuts with the rocket fuel, right? More rocket fuel than we even know what to do with. I mean, hey, gotta do something with those light oil. You know, as opposed to crack it down to the much more useful um, petroleum. Right, so what did I want to do? I wanted to make more flamethrower turrets. Currently, oh wow, no, I already uncapped it to 200. Let's uncap it to 300, 400, 500. They're very slow to make, and you can't put modules to make them more efficiently, but you can make them uh, more efficiently. I also want to upgrade all of my production, because what I can do now is get the glorious Mark III assembly machine. need two of the crappier versions of it, plus a bunch of speed modules, but we can do that. And a mall. Uh, I think the mall could just go right here. I've left this kind of gap in my bus, but it'll use it for something. I can also use the opportunity to clean up some of this mess. Get rid of that, it gets in the way. I don't think that breaks any of my anything. It cuts off the labs amusingly enough, but similarly amusingly, we can restore the labs. Dunk, 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 and there you go. I don't think that cut off anything too badly. Yeah, there we go. Those labs could do with better efficiency modules, but there are many things we could do with. Oh, it's actually kind of nice to see so much science back up. In fact, it's surprising to see that red science, of all things, is struggling. Look at that. It's probably just because red science doesn't buffer as hard as the other ones, because I think even green is struggling a bit. But anyway, I think we have achieved plenty. We have massively made the biter stronger. Evolution is now dangerously close to Behemoth Biter. We have access to the strongest armor in the game, the Power Armor Mark II Augmented Spidertron. Filled with shields and legs, and, eh, you know, if we're not fighting, we could actually switch out for even more legs, but uh, I don't think that's necessary at this point. We have killed a lot of the expansion around us. There is still cases of the biters drinking our pollution, but we will upgrade our defenses and push them way out. Wall, wall, wall. So big wall, big mall, and then we get going on the biggest achievement of them all, which is... 200 million, uh, 20 million chips. We are 2.5% of the way there. Scary achievement. 
but at least it's not as stressful as some of the other ones. It's just a case of setting up mass production. Also, what are we going to do with all those green chips? I can make them into reds, which would make them into blue, but that's also going to chew up a whole lot of plastic and other copper. Hmm. What can be done with just bajillions of green chips? I don't know. Something to put my mind towards later. I shall, however, save up here. Part 11. Spidertron get. And until I'm back with more of this and indeed more streams for the week to come, it's a cheers and a cheerio.